Madaba. Oh God, we hold nothing. And I say, Mam Sia Kumbuke, Wala Kuya Fakari Mambo Yakale, Shataya Bako Sataya, Ratele Baro Shata. We hold nothing. We hold nothing. We hold nothing. With all nothing, I surrender all. I surrender Father, and everything, everything I Yeah. 
Jesus in the name of God. Shale kata ya bakosa. Mabie kuna nipokea jinsi nilivyo. Nipokea jinsi nilivyo oka. May you accept me tonight oka. May you accept me tonight oka. The way I am oka. The way I am oka. May you accept me tonight oka. Father, sakaya bakosa. Aratada bakosa taya. Mabie kuna nipokea jinsi nilivyo. Ninaweza nisiwe na vigezo lakini nipokee jinsi nilivyo. Na madhaifu yangu ipokee jinsi nilivyo. Shatala katale koto. Retele barosha nela bakosa. Daleka zuhisa deleka Shane kataya kosa. Barubelek lana makosa. Edila kosa tai. Akete tei zakai. Retele barusha nela katai. Elusa antele katai. Asha tatatai. The way I am oka. Rababa kosele klana manosha. Dile kosa na neketai. Shake it at a lekom brotai. Zusa ante agadeisha. Lata telekom shakai. Can you speak in other tongues? Can you speak in other tongues? Zaleka kai. Zusa telekomrosha. Zusa ante klade belosha. Zata lekote shakai. Ante lekomrosha neklata. Lotele borusha neklata. Zakata lekete isa. Zetele borusha hata. Aya bakosa ande bekosha. Ah, zekele borusha. Father, may you empower my spirit, man of God. Zata lekote shakata. Retele borusha na borusha. Father, may you empower my spirit, man of God. Lekada basote shakata. Father, we adore you, O God. Father, we adore you, O God. Radele ko shana ne de zaka. Zoto shada madosha. Zeke tele baro shana mana. Ah, zale kataya. Zeke le kana madosha. Radele ko zoto shata. Nana no zeke le kaya. Shita le kateisa, masute le barosha taya. Shete taye pa, shete le mate ikata. Reka le barosha taya, shete le barusha le ikata ata. Zuhinta taye keta, le baba no kose kata le ka. Reka le kata le ipa, asuze ita taya. Ah, <laughs> Ay 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 ay! Satana bado shana manosha, kada baso to, rete tele barosha. Mabie kuna ni mukuda kuti anguvu, ni mukuda kuti anguvu jioni aleo, ni mukuda kuti anguvu jioni aleo. Duma pili ni lipoke andio, lakini lao kula chakula chengine. Duma pili ni lipoke andio, lakini lao kula chakula chengine. Rata tata ya kata. Shetele baro sepeta, masude le kana na dosha, ereka kaka yesusa, areka na nosha, ele dosha tai, ele 
Anasema heli wenye kiu Na njaa ya haki Mana hawa ni tawashibisha Mwambia buwana Jemi misio mwenye haki wako Mwambia buwana jemi misio mwenye haki wako Chakula changu kiku wapi jioni ya leo Chakula changu kiku wapi jioni ya leo Rabba <laughs> Ay 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 Bella Marasia Ele katana basoto Salika irabra subela Bele kupela barakuse ni basoto ya Shabali rekoto saleka taya basoto Barato palia pela maleko My life is not my own Ashataya man To who I belong I give myself I give myself To who this life is not my own Love to you I belong I give myself I give myself to you My life is not my own Love to you I belong I give myself, I give myself to you. This life is not my own. Not to you, I belong. I give myself, I give myself away. This life is not. My heart To you I belong I give myself I give myself To you This breath Is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself this life, it's not my own. Not to you, I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. This strength is not my own. Not to you, I belong. I give myself Anasema Sio pongufu Ayakada basoto Ratana basoto Ila ni kwa nema yake It's by the spirit of God It's by the spirit of the living God Shaleko toya basoto Shaleko to sarata ya ba it's not by mighty It's not by power It's by the spirit of the living God Ah, shalekatai Rebaron shalekatai Ah, zetataya Mabia buona Where's your Holy Spirit tonight? Shalekatai Shalekatai Let's 
Yo, I'm going to go up. You the Lord of Zima. Asetetete. Ora ta 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 ya. This life is not my own. Where to you I belong. I give myself. I give myself away. This life is not my own. Let you, I belong. I give myself. I give. My Maisha yako sio ya kwako ila maisha yako ni ya kwake maana yeye ndiye alikuweka duniani maana yeye ndiye anaitajua mahitaji yako unaweza kumwambia bwana ukunileta duniani ni kuaibika libarato palia libarato jalida wewe bwana ukunileta duniani ni kuaibika for my life is your life for my life is your life Mambo bwana hujanileta hujanifikisha umbali huu ili kuja kuniaibisha Ziko wapi hizo nguvu Anasema tazama nitafanya zaidi ya kile nilichofanya Mambo bwana kipwapi Bwana mtu anza tukuombea mapepo yanashindwa Ira maleko pela marakata ya balaku Can you translate with me Shataba soto kama kama ni yeye ambaye amekuweka duniani if he is the one that placed you on earth kama ni yeye ambaye amekuweka duniani if he is the one that placed you on earth it's me anajua mahitaji yako he knows your needs anajua mahitaji yako he knows your needs kuna mahali pale kwa biblia akasema there is a place in the bible that says kabla hujaomba before you pray nimeshakujibu i have already answered kabla bwana hayo majibu yako wapi say lord where are the answers hizo nguvu ziko wapi where is the power anasema vile nilivyo nilivyofanya mimi He says the way I did it myself. Vile nilivyofanya mimi. The way I did it myself. Na nyie mtafanya kwa ukubwa zaidi. You shall do greater things. Na nyie mtafanya kwa ukubwa zaidi. You shall do greater things. Mwambie baba. Say father. Ah, mala dimension. We kasha taba hazoto. I say mala dimension. Mala dimension. Alekoto shata. Rakosha taba gada sana. Sekete tele barosha. Rekons kapaka to. Sata tele kosata. Rakosha to. Rekons kopaka to. I mention oh God kiwango cha mara e bwana where is your dynamis tonight oh God where is your dynamis oh God ibwapi nguvu yako jioni leo where is your dynamis oh God ibwapi nguvu yako jioni leo nimechoka kupigwa kila siku nimechoka kuibiwa kila siku i am tired of being stolen from every day my life is not my own let you i belong I keep myself I keep myself to you Unaweza kainuka mahali hapo ulipo Can you raise your feet wherever you are Unaweza kainuka mahali hapo ulipo Can you raise your feet Unaweza kainuka mwana wa Mungu Can you raise your feet child of God Aleko to shataya Unaweza kainuka mahali hapo ulipo Can you raise your feet wherever you are Na ukamwambia Bwana And say Lord Ikiwa ni wewe umeniweka duniani If you are the one that has brought me on earth Basi maisha yangu ni yako Then my life is yours Ikiwa niweka duniani if you are the one that brought me on earth maisha yangu ni yako my life is yours maana wewe ndio unajua mahitaji yangu because you know my needs maana wewe ndio unajua mahitaji yangu you are the one that knows my needs maana wewe ndio mwangalizi wangu you are the one who watches over can you pray shade of god unaweza kuomba mwana wa mungu unaweza kaindwa mikono yako juu sana you raise up your hands wherever you are bwana tonight is my night usiku wa leo ni usiku wako you will not pass me by you will not pass me by shataba soto Baleko ratada basoto Unaweza kaomba kwa uchungu Mwambie Bwana tonight is my night Usiku wa leo ni usiku wangu Anasema kumjua yeye He says to know him Anasema kumjua yeye to know him Ni chanzo cha maarifa It is the beginning of wisdom Ni chanzo cha maarifa The beginning of knowledge Ni chanzo cha maarifa The beginning of knowledge Na kumjua yeye and to know him Ni chanzo cha amani yako It's the beginning of your peace Ni chanzo cha amani yako The beginning of your peace Ni chanzo cha amani yako The beginning of your peace Ni chanzo cha amani yako The beginning of your peace Ni chanzo cha amani yako The beginning of your peace Ni chanzo cha amani yako The beginning of your peace Kujua wewe 
know you it's the beginning of my peace to know you it's the beginning of knowledge tonight I have come to draw I have come to draw the knowledge of man divine knowledge divine knowledge Every dimension you are entering it is God who initiates you. Every dimension that you desire He is the one that is involved. He is the one that initiates a man. Holy Spirit in the is the source of all dimensions wherever you are today we are going to learn about the Mara dimension tell Lord my desire your desire and your desire say Lord I desire to enter into that dimension and if I was in that dimension I desire to go higher if there was anything that was blocking me tonight I cross over it doesn't matter what is blocking me but tonight I enter tonight I enter tonight I enter this dimension of Mara it is the dimension of our fathers God has allowed by his own purposes he saw that we need it to enter into this dimension he saw that his hunger to enter into this dimension he said we are not satisfied he wants us to go deeper say Lord I need more can you raise up your hands say Father I desire more Father I need more Perhaps the one that is past I did not understand But today I need it Say Lord I need to enter into this dimension Say Lord I desire to enter into Mara dimension by the eyes of the flesh I don't know what it looks like but I desire to enter can you pray wherever you are so Holy Spirit I need it today tonight I need it I need it all Say Holy Ghost, I need it. I need it. I need more. I need more. I need the spiritual world to be more rich. The spiritual world to be more real to me because it is your purpose over my life. It depends if you are 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 Where do you want to go? 
Worship him with your good words. Worship him with your good words. For he says, before you have prayed, I have already done it. Worship him. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of your worship. Can you glorify him with your own words? Can you tell him that Lord you are great? He is the Alpha and Omega. He cannot be compared with anything. There is nothing that he can fail to do. Can you worship him whatever you want? As you are raising up your hands high. For he says. All you holy people gather your hands. Lift up your hands before the holy place. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Mele ko jada gada baraga dia barada da bashati. Le ko jaga dia baraga da bashata. Usisubiri mziki. Do not wait for melody. Mziki uko ndani yako, mwabudu Mungu kwa maana yake. The melody is already on the inside of you. Worship him with your words. Ah, kele baraga da bashati. Le ko jata la basuka vala gada bayahada. Wa 
Watembea mali hapa na kwa budu na kwa budu uko hapa watembea mali hapa na kwa budu na kwa Watembea mali hapa na kwa budu na kwa budu uko hapa bwana Yesu sauti na kwa budu na kwa budu na kwa Ra la la 
Nikwambie Bwana wewe ndivyo ulivyo. Wewe ni Mungu mtenda miujiza ndivyo ulivyo. Wewe ni Mungu mponyaji ndivyo ulivyo. Wewe ni Mungu wa maajabu ndivyo ulivyo. Ah, ye polele baraga da da bashete le bayata. Weka mikono yako juu na kumwambia tu ndivyo ulivyo Bwana. Your name is to me hallo Ah begin to appreciate him anza kumshukuru wewe begin to appreciate him anza kumshukuru wewe begin to appreciate him anza kumshukuru wewe father we thank you tonight baba tunakushukuru jioni leo we acknowledge your power in this place tunatambua nguvu yako mahali hapa we acknowledge your power in this place tunatambua nguvu yako mahali hapa there is no party like you jesus hakuna aliye kama wewe yesu there is no party like your master hakuna kama wewe bwana there is no party like you jesus hakuna kama wewe yesu there is no party like you yahweh hakuna kama wewe yahweh there is no party like you redeemer hakuna kama wewe mokozi there is no party like you savior hakuna kama wewe mkombozi can you lift up your hands and begin to open up your mouth and acknowledge him unaweza kaona mikono yako juu fungua moyo wako anza kumtambua yeye open up your heart open up your spirit begin to acknowledge him fungua moyo wako fungua roho yako anza kumtambua yeye acknowledge him this moment mtambue yeye wakati huu shatu kinimura na masata la baba 
Zeliko Prada Bazuta Lamayate. Open up your mouth, begin to appreciate it. Open up your mouth and appreciate it. Father, there is nobody like you. Baba, hakuna kama wewe. There is nobody like you. Hakuna kama wewe. There is nobody like you, Master. Hakuna kama wewe, Bwana. That we lift your holy name, Jesus. Baba, tunalinua jina lako takatifu. Remind us by your holy name, Lord. Tunalikuza jina lako. Father, there is nobody like you, Lord. Hakuna kama wewe, Bwana. There is nobody like you, Master. Hakuna kama wewe, Bwana. There is nobody like you, Jesus. Hakuna kama wewe, yes. We adore you, Lord. Tunakuna. We adore you Lord. Tunakuhimidi Bwana. We adore you Lord. Tunakuhimidi Bwana. There is nobody like you. Hakuna aliye kama wewe. There is nobody like you. Hakuna aliye kama wewe. Now we lift your holy name. Tunalinua jina lako takatifu. We lift your holy name Jesus. Tunalinua jina lako takatifu. We lift your holy name Jesus. Tunalinua jina lako takatifu. There is nobody like you Master. Hakuna aliye kama wewe. Bwana ni kwenye open up your mouth and acknowledge. Unaweza kufuma kwenye chako open up your mouth and acknowledge. Open up your mouth and acknowledge him. Fumba kinywa chako anza kumpa your mouth and glorify his holy name. Fumba kinywa chako anza kutukuza jina lake kwa shaka kada baba. Raka na mashete kede paya. Likombre tele manto na baba mashaka. Father there is nobody like you. Oh they say for your name is to be he hallo. Are you trying or you are doing it? Unajaribu kufanya au unafanya? Mwambie unajaribu au unafanya? Are you trying or you are doing it? Amesemaje? Ah? They are doing it. Ah, look at your neighbor. Usimone aibu, muangalie jirani yako, mwambie are you trying or you are doing it? Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Unajaribu au unafanya? Yes, upo hapa kujaribu au upo hapa kufanya ibada? Are you here to try or you are here to worship? Hebu wasalimie watu wawili unavochukua nafasi yako. Wasalimie watu wawili please. Wasalimie watu wawili. Ah, sikoni ukisalimia watu wawili, wasalimie watu wawili. Kuna mtu pembeni kuna mtu nyuma kuna mtu mbele eh hey, wana Mungu mpo are you here wasalimie watu wawili nimerudia mara nne i've repeated wasalimie watu wawili wasalimie watu wawili greet two people wasalimie watu wawili eh hey. amen Amen. You know people think mimi si elwage ninachoongea minister sometimes. What on the I don't speak. understand no, what I'm saying. When I tell you turn to your neighbor. Nikombe pia kijana. Don't forget it. Sidhani nitasahau. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, but tulia kidogo maana you have tension. Amen. Eh, tension nyingi umetoka mwisho wa mwezi bado mishahara haijatoka. I understand. I love. Kwa hiyo relax for a minute. Church is not should not be a place ambao you pretend that you are not active. Kanisani si mahali ambapo unajifanya kana kwamba hauko active. Kati when you you are very loud. Uh, ni mtu ambaye una kelele nyingi sana huko nyumbani. Bring out that character. Ilete hiyo tabia. Child of God. Bring out that character. See the problem with you you are too serious more than God. Tatizo lako ni kwamba uko serious kuliko Mungu. Hivyo mimi siwezi cooperate. I have to bring you to a level where we can talk. I cannot operate like that in a being kushushia katika kiwango ambacho tunaweza kuongea. So you need to cool down for one minute. 
Unahitaji kutulia kwa dakika moja. Life is not that scary. Maisha hayaogopeshi kwa siku. Hallelujah. Life is good. Tunch on your neighbor life is good. Yoke jirani yako mwambie jirani maisha ni mazuri. It becomes a problem when you look at it as a problem. Yanakuwa tatizo ukiyatazama kama tatizo. So tunch on your neighbor I am good. Kumgeke jirani yako mwambie jirani niko vizuri. Aje kusikia huyo akuchukulie siri aze muangalie mwambie usidhani nina stress I am good. Look at them and tell them don't think that I'm stressed. I'm good. Hallelujah. Amen. Always in your life confess that all is well. Maisha ni mwako siku zote kiri kwamba yote yote ni mema. Yote ni sawa. All is well. You are what you think you are. Wewe ni kile unachofikiri kwamba uko hivyo. Wewe unakuwa kile ambacho unakiwaza. You think that which you think of. You become what you think of. Unakuwa kile ambacho unakiwaza. You don't think what you think of, you become. Unakuwa kile unachokiwaza. You see even my translator is somewhere else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to kill the tension you have. Inajaribu kuua ile tension ambayo uko nayo. Biblia inasema The Bible says You should be like a child. Ila kupasa uwe kama mtoto. Kwenye mambo ya roho unatakiwa inakupasa uwe kama mtoto. In the things of the spirit you are supposed to be like a child. You know how a child is? Unajua vile mtoto alivyo? Stubborn, sumbufu. A child is talkative. Toto anaongea sana. A child wants to is curious, anataka kujua, anataka. A child wants to know. Amen. So when you are There are dimensions the Bible says desire. Kuna viwango ambavyo Biblia inasema uvitamani, yes, uwe na shauku. So desire it's not just kuwa na shauku sio tu. Nilipoingia pale. When I entered there, I felt your tension. Nilisikia tension yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. And I felt mtu ana anafanya tu. I felt like a person is just anajilazimisha kuwa uweponi. They are forcing themselves to be in so the place. Now that is not good. So we have to kill that tension. Maybe you have to go I understand, but you need to now realize kwamba you are a child before your heavenly father. Unahitaji kuelewa kwamba wewe ni mtoto mbele za baba yako. Yaani umekuja sasa nyumbani kwa baba yako. That you came to your father's house. Your heavenly father. Baba yako wa mbinguni. Sasa usije Usije na na hivyo usije hivyo njoo kama mtoto come like that come like a baby haleluya nani anaelewa anachoongea yeah come as a child so nataka sasa uwe mtoto wa Mungu sio mlokole a child of god sio mkristo kuwa mwana mtoto wa Mungu be free in your father's house kuwa huru kwenye nyumba ya baba yako sio naeleweka anachoongea whereby ukijisikia ku kuimba unaimba ukijisikia kuomba and there is a way you are you are unahisi kwamba nimekuja nyumbani kuna vile ambavyo you feel that you are at home haleluya mm. you need to always have that because vile wanavyokuja mbele za bwana ndivyo naye anavyokupokea because the way you come before the lord that is how he receives you so as people are still coming wengine wanatoka makazini vile ambavyo watu wengine wanakuja tusiwe kama tunakimbizana na kitu yes tanja mm. neba sene ba you are home mgeoke jirani yako mwambie jirani ajakusikia mwambie uko nyumbani you are home pressure za nini eh hey, no pressure 2024 no pressure tumeshalia sana mwana Mungu eh hey, tu, yani kama kuomba tumeombaga sana hatuhitaji kuomba leo kama tunaomba tunaanza kuwa walokole unajua si jumla inaelewa It has to get to a point ambayo you enjoy what you are doing. Lazima ifike mahali. Ibada inakuwa ni kitu ambacho unakifurahia. It is something kama, that you enjoy. Kama ni a command. Sio kama amri. It shouldn't be like a command. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh, always in your life fika mahali ambapo ibada sio kama ni amri. Ibada ni ma, ni tendo la kumpenda Mungu. You it's love him. Of loving him. So hizo mamara uliokuja kuyasikiliza au kuyaingia hazingili it doesn't happen like th- like that. It's okay namna hiyo. So we have to kill that. We have to relax. 
understand kwamba niko nyumbani na kuelewa kwamba we are at home i am not just in some sijaje tu same popot i am in my father's house nipo kwenye nyumba ya baba yangu i hapa ndipo ninapotoa mizigo yangu this is where this is i where lay I down my body nikiwa na stress duniani this is where i find my peace hello this is where you find what your peace a play in mahali wanasema in english therapy do you know therapy yes mahali ambapo una yani kama una mambo yanakusumbua unakuja kuyatua you are removing the weight in your heart unaondoa ule mzigo moyoni mwako bwana yesu asifiwe so church should not be kama unavyoifanya sometimes kanisani haitakiwi kuwa like the way because church utafanya mpaka unakufa kwa sababu you will be doing church until you die si ndio sasa atwez uwezu kaishi hivyo you will die early so we cannot live like that to so relax them. enjoy love it kotulia ipende hallelujah ifraye. amen kwa dakika moja muambie bwana naomba ni rehem 1 minute Pray. Kwa moja, can you tell God? I'm not have saying Mungu akurehemu kwa hiki nilichosema no your entire life. Mwambie Bwana sanctify me Jesus. Tell him Lord let's go before him. Emtende mbele zake. Let's open our hearts before him. Tufungue mioyo yetu mbele zake. Wash me king of kings. Nisafishe mfalme wa wafalme. Sanctify me Yahweh. Nitakase e Yahweh. Purify me Jesus. Nisafishe e Yesu. Is media praying with the prophet? Praise him are you praying with your prophet Talk to him love him appreciate him He is a wonderful God Yeye ni Mungu wa pekee Father let your mercies be upon me Baba rehema zako zikawe juu yangu Sweet Jesus forgive me of my sins Yesu nisamehe dhambi zangu I am a sinner oh God Mimi ni mwenye dhambi I have sinned against you Nimetenda dhambi mbele zako I have done you wrong Nimekukosea Wash me with your blood. Itakase kwa damu yako. Cleanse me Jesus. Nisafishe e Yesu. Sanctify me Jesus. Itakase e Yesu. Come on somebody pray that prayer. Hebu mtu mmoja omba ombi hilo. Niondolee e Bwana. Take away ule uzito ulioko ndani yangu. The burden that is within me. The burden of sin. Mzigo wa dhambi. Em kwa dakika moja omba kama vile Bwana anarejea John ya leo. For one minute can you pray? as if the lord is coming back to this ask him for his mercies omba kwa ajili ya rehema zake nobody is perfect only him hakuna aliyekamilika isipokuwa yeye viewers all over the world watazamaji ulimwenguni kote you can join me in this prayer unaweza kuungana nami katika ombi hili lord jesus forgive me bwana yesu unisamehe lord jesus sanctify me bwana yesu unitakase lord jesus purify me bwana yesu unisafishe lord jesus wash me Bwana Yesu unioshe. Have mercy on me Jesus. Ukanirehemu e Yesu. Ushiriki yenu. Waamini.
here tonight I need you Jesus dimensions have to come to me dimensions the supernatural abilities the supernatural abilities the power beyond humanity I need more you created me for more I trust you for more I believe there is more than this my life is more than this I want to touch the supernatural allow me to touch the supernatural I cannot live as an ordinary man there must be a difference between me and other people Jesus there must be a difference in the spirit there must be a difference come on somebody mwambie bwana lazima kuwe na tofauti somebody would you tell god there must be a difference between me and my family members kati yangu mimi na watu wa familia yangu between me and the rest of my family kati yangu mimi na familia yangu yote there is a reason i am here tonight there is a reason i am prophetic and angelic kwa sababu kwa nini mimi ndio kinabii na watu sete Vale kata zohodo boshia maraba sete There is a reason Jesus that I am not yet dead Iko sababu kwa nini bado sijafa Bahola ba somebody pray with your prophet tonight Demand for a higher dimension Demand for a supernatural dimension wewe unamwabudu Mungu aliye roho. Umezingirwa na viumbe wa rohoni. Everything about you is spiritual. Kila kitu kuhusu wewe ni cha rohoni. Everything about you is spiritual. Kila kitu kuhusu wewe ni cha rohoni. Maisha yako yanaendeshwa kiroho. Your life is real. Tell Jesus it is now a season. To enter the divinity Come on somebody pray I tell you tonight there shall be an impartation of the supernatural Some of you are coming out different tonight These are not sweet words from a prophet This is a declaration in the spirit I came for a few people tonight a few sons and daughters that say take me there my prophets take me to higher heights you shall be the ego in my life pull me to higher dimensions we shall be soaring like eagles tonight fire me up holy ghost it can be financial Check me higher I'm talking of supernatural In everything you touch You are in your entire life Every aspect of your life A shift is coming tonight I wish I had seven people tonight That I've been waiting for a shift Lord take me there Baba nipeleke hapo take me there Jesus Come on somebody mlilie Bwana mwambie nipeleke huko juu All I need is to go up Stop looking at your neighbor your neighbor is praying for themselves Jirani yako anajiombea yeye pray Nimechoka kuonewa Nimechoka kudharaulika Spirit of God you are my last pastor Come on now, you can do better.
city. Open my eyes tonight, Jesus. Open my dimensions in my life, oh God. Unlock me tonight, Jesus. Unlock me tonight. I want to know my full potential. Ah, it is a cry of a believer. Liberato. Sehere bekante. Mwambie Bwana nifungulie mlango. I am knocking. Ninabisha kwenye mlango. Ulisema utafungua. Uh, knock and it shall be unlocked for you. Come on, somebody knock in the spirit. Balika tabato shateke paya epeleka. Let your glory cover this house. Father, let your glory come on us tonight. Forget our past and see our future, Jesus. Sete zuhulubu shate Baligade shatupupa Rakatata Great men and women shall rise from this ministry. It is not a matter of people, how many people. It is a matter of quality, not quantity. We are not looking for quantity. Quantity, Jesus, we are looking for quality. Mwambe mungu ni naitaji viwango. Staki maneno mengi, I just need dimensions. I don't have many ways. Take me to places. Nifanye kwa mmoja na Elia. One with Elijah, one with Enoch. One with Samuel. One with Isaiah. Somebody, I wish you get one more upon and at your fire and walk at you. Elevation, I hear elevation. Are they asking for elevation? He's asking, are they asking for elevation? Am I hearing people praying for elevation tonight? That says the Spirit of God. If you shall pray, he shall answer. Beleko, you shall be the first in your family. Watakua kwanza kwenye familia yenu. You will be the first. That is a promise, I tell you. That is a promise. You will be the first. The curse breaker. The generation of Moses. The pioneer. Ay, 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 ay. The first prophet. The ambassador of Christ. The first general in your house. You shall be the one. Come on, somebody call on his name. Litia Jina Lapuan. Mwambie, I have fainted before, but I'm not fainting tonight. Nimezimia moyo, uko nyuma, lakini siyo leo. Tonight, I am holding on to you, Jesus. Spirit of God. Mara! Sumi Aika Kakoka Ida da 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 Bezoko Kota Mara Maholo Moshai Let the supernatural come on me let it be like a garment on me. Murababo sete rebesha. Bileo soto. Maneno yangu ni tayatuma na yataenda. Ayekata. A higher power. My son, it is a higher dimension. Words become objects. Likra 
pecados I declare in the name of Jesus the donkeys that your people have been looking for for many years the donkeys that your daughter has been looking for the donkeys that your son has been looking for Father tonight they are about to see their donkeys I pray 
Ninaomba that you may use me tonight to usher your people ili niwaingize watu wako into the supernatural oh God katika ulimwengu wa maajabu ya rohoni i need the keys inahitaji fungua to unlock their destinies kufungua hata mazao jesus whosoever that has opened their hearts bwana yesu yeyote ambaye amefungua moyo wake whosoever that is here willingly with an open heart yeyote ambaye yuko hapa I am ready to usher them Jesus. Niko tayari kuingiza ebona Yesu. Use me. Nitumie mimi. Use me tonight. Nitumie usiku leo. Usher one person. Kumuingiza mtu mmoja. To bring them to a higher place. Kuwaleta mahali pa juu. In their lives. Maisha ni mwao. A place that is new to them. Mahali ambapo ni mahali papya I want to be the one that is introducing them to this place. Nataka niwe yule ambaye anawatambulisha mahali hapo. And I am privileged and honored oh God. Nami nimepata heshima e Mungu. That you have given me the access. Kwamba umenipa access to do so in the lives of these great people. Kufanya hivyo katika maisha ya watu hao wakubwa. May they know na wakajua that it is all for your glory. Kwamba yote ni kwa ajili yako. It is not for the up- ability of a man na si uwezo wa mwanadamu it is not because a man can press too much na si kwa sababu mtu anaweza kusifu sana let it be known ijulikane that is because of your love ni kwa sababu ya upendo wako you have loved us so much umetupenda sana tonight usiku leo you are introducing us to a rare place unatutambulisha mahali paliko adimu let them know nao wakajue that you love them kwamba unawapenda a place of love mahali pa upendo only when you have loved somebody you introduce them to this place ni pale tu unapompenda mtu humtambulisha mahali hapa let these people know watu hao wakajua that is not in their ability kwamba si katika uwezo wao but your unconditional love lakini upendo wako usio na mipaka kwa dakika moja mwambie asante kwa kunipenda for one minute would you tell him thank you for loving me you love me so much unanipenda sana that you are willing to unlock me tonight. Kesi kwamba uko tayari kunifungua usiku leo. If you take this service serious. Ukimaanisha katika ibada hii. He will take it serious. Naye atakuwa serious na ibada hii. The seriousness of God comes from the seriousness of the people. The seriousness wa Mungu unatokana na wewe mwenyewe kuwa serious. If you will look at it differently tonight. Ukitazama kwa namna tofauti usiku leo. That I am about to touch what I've been desiring for many years. Kama ninakwenda kugusa kile ambacho nimekitamani kwa miaka mingi. My eyes are about to be held on what I have been longing for many years. Macho yangu yanakaribia kutazama kile ambacho nimekitamani kwa miaka mingi. I am about to enter a place that is rare to humanity. Ninakwenda kuingia mahali ambapo ni adimu kwa binadamu. A sacred place. Mahali ambapo ni mahali patakatifu. A place that not all everyone enters. Mahali ambapo si kila mtu anaingia. And even tonight I'm entering because of his love. Na hata usiku leo ninaingia kwa sababu ya upendo wake. You will appreciate him for one minute. Utamshukuru kwa dakika moja. Naomba ufungue kinywa chako. I want you to open up your mouth. Mwambie thank you for loving me. Au mwambie asante kwa kunipenda. Somebody please pray. Mtu mmoja tafadhali fungua kinywa chako na uombe. Thank you Jesus. And the man you say 
I'm here to worship you The one you saved Has come to worship you, Jesus The man you saved The boy you raised has come to love you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zohor Obo Sete, be lifted. We worship you, Abba. You are the source of life. You are the beginning to the end, the end to the beginning. Your name is Jireh. You are the provider of men. You are El Sabaoth, the Lord God Almighty. Jehovah Ebenezer, there is no other Almighty like you. You are the Rose of Sharon. You are the Lily of the Valley. You are the trees of Lebanon. Baholo Bosete. You are the wind that eagles soar upon. You are the one that rides upon the horses of fire. You are the rider of chariots. You are the one that sits on the mountains. You are and there is no other God. Is there anything too difficult for you? What can stand before you, Almighty One, the God of Israel? Blessed are you. Blessed is your holy name. Glory is your name, O God. Let nations bow before you, for you are the Almighty One. We worship you. We give you glory. Praise you, Jesus. You are the I am that I am. Hey. The one that is to come and the one that has already come. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than us, it is bigger than salvation. Oh Jesus, we love you, Jesus, we adore you, Jesus.
can remove your shame anaweza kubadilisha maisha yako ndani ya mwaka mmoja ndani ya miaka miwili ndani ya mwezi mmoja he can bring the right people in your life tunaomba na tunakushukuru we honor you tunakuheshimu i want you to get your notebook nataka uchukue sehemu ya kuandika please uh, media make sure you're recording this i want you to get your notebook i need these summons to be uploaded i need these summons to be uploaded differently umeweka wimbo nyoni mo It's not going to be my first first time teaching this. Haitakuwa mara ya kwanza kufundisha hili. Take the stage and take the ground. Jesus is more than enough for me. Take the crown and take the stage. 
Jesus is more. You see the problem with your prophet, he loves Jesus. Unaona? I just can't control myself. Siwezi tu nikajicontrol mimi mwenyewe. Jesus is more than it loves me. Take the stage and take the crown. Jesus is more than enough for me. Jesus is more than enough for me. Jesus is more than enough for me. Come on now. Jesus is more. Praise him you can do it. Jesus is more than enough for me. Take the stage and take the crown. Jesus is more than enough for me. Take the crown and take the stage. Jesus is more than enough for me. 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 Oh, take the stage and take the crown. More than enough for me and Take the crown and take the stage Jesus is more than enough for me Take the crown and take the stage It's bigger than you. Mm. It is way bigger than you. Mm. It's bigger than us. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than all of us. What am I talking about? The love of God. Towards humanity, it's bigger than you. He loves us unconditionally. He loves you so much. There was no one that was worthy to die for you, only him. Ana, an, as you are there, you are sad and you are not happy. Just remember. That he loves you so much that he looked around and he said, I am the only one that is worthy to die for this person. Not an angel, any other man. Himself. God entered a woman's womb. Stayed for nine months. To be born. So that he can save us. I pray that you always remember this. I want to control our total please. It's too much movement. Please. Always remember. That he loves you. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor he loves me. He loves me. I don't know about you. But I. I am loved by God. How many people believe Jesus loves them? Let us try not to disappoint him. Let us try not to disappoint him. How? Let's walk in his in what he wants tutembe katika kile anachokitaka haleluya 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 ni mbili tu mpende bwana mungu wako kuliko 
kuliko unavyojipenda mwenyewe more than you love yourself alafu mpende jirani yako pia kuliko unavyojipenda au kama unavyojipenda mwenyewe and love your neighbor as you love yourself two things vitu vingi that will make the world a better place ambavyo vitafanya uh, ulimwengu uwe mahali bora it's called love inaitwa upendo tancho ni basi neba love yake jirani yako mwambie jirani upendo opens dimensions unafungua viwango so as we are beginning with tonight's topic kwa tunapoanza mada ya jioni mara mara weka hapo upendo put love there andika namba moja number you, one i can't walk siwezi nikatembea with god na mungu the almighty creator mumbaji mwenye nguvu zote the supreme being god mungu in dimensions that scare humanity katika viwango ambavyo vinaogopesha wanadamu if there is no love in me ikiwa hakuna upendo ndani yangu how can you walk with love utatembeaje na upendo yet you don't have love na bado hauna upendo god is love mungu ni pendo hana upendo He does not have love. Yeye ndiye upendo. He is love. God Mungu. I want you to understand. Maana mtu atasema, ah, mbona nimetoka kwenye mara vitu sivyoni? Wewe una upendo wa kiasi. How is your love situation? Upendo wako ni kiasi gani? Hali yako, Hali yako ya upenda imekaje? Ikoje. Remember, unaona mimi ninavyoongea hivi. You see the way I'm Before talking like this. Before ni kwambia mafuta na maji and all those things na sukari get what i'm saying pata kile ninachokupa the problem with the body of christ tatizo la mwili wa kristo tuna we have trusted in witchcraft so much tumeamini sana uchawi when god is giving us simple ways of tapping into dimensions wakati mungu anatupa namna rahisi za kuingia katika viwango you, are, you, you, you don't take it serious hamanishi what you came for tonight ulicho kijia it is unlocked by love kinafunguliwa na upendo Tantio neba seneba. Yeke jirani yako mumbe jirani. Mara, mara. Supernatural becoming a reality. Ulimwengu wa, wa rohoni unakuwa halisi. The supernatural becomes a reality. It happens when love is flowing in your veins. Inatokea pale ambapo upendo unatiririka katika mishipa. One of God's names is love. Moja ya majina ya Mungu ni upendo. Do you have it? Je, yeah, unao? I'm not talking about loving your husband and your wife only. I'm talking about love. Siongelee kumpenda mke wako you na mke wako. A beacon of love. Kwamba wewe ni chanzo cha upendo. Eh? You are a beacon of love. Chanzo, ishara ya upendo where you are hapo lipo love dominates upendo unatawala the bible says it covers a multitude of sin biblia inasema kwamba upendo unafunika wingi wa dhambi a man that is full of love is a man that is not counted with many sins mtu ambaye amejawa na upendo ni mtu ambaye haesabiwi kwa na dhambi kwa wingi why because love covers a multitude of sin kwa sababu upendo ufunika wingi wa dhambi ndivyo biblia inavyosema that is what the bible says upendo ufunika wingi wa dhambi love covers a multitude of sin. a multitude son wingi the word multitude means it's a lot a Ina lot of sins dhambi nyingi are forgiven zinasamehewa are put aside zinawekwa pembeni because of your love kwa sababu ya upendo wako do you love your neighbor you unampenda jirani yako? Do you love your do you, how is your love situation? Hali yako ya upendo ipo? Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I rarely see love in your eyes. 
ninaona kwa wadimu sana upendo machoni mwako upendo ninaona kwa mbali sana machoni mwako some of you have eyes like witches the devil's on earth you know when people wakija kwako wanakuona what is this you shouldn't be like that hautaki kwa hivyo love upendo kila saa umenuna every time you are frowning shida ni nini what is the problem we are not the cause of your problems this is your problem look at your neighbor and say neighbor i am not your witch mimi sio mchawi wako mimi sio chanzo cha matatizo yako i am not the source and the cause of your problems yes. you know sometimes unamkuta mtu umwambie hey, please i come in peace nimekuja kwa amani cuz tume tuna vita nyingi sana even sometimes physically tunadhani watu wanatuataka sometimes people are trying to communicate wakati mwingine watu wanajaribu kuwasiliana so when you are walking in the when you are we are upgrading yourself spiritually in the things of god ukiwa unakuwa kwa namna ya roho katika mambo ya after you have done your prayers baada ya kufanya maombi yako and after you are done your with your fastings na baada ya mifungo yako i want you to check your love language nataka uangalie lugha yako ya your love situation hali yako ya upendo because up, anakwambia nijapozungumza kwa lugha za malaika because he says if i speak in the tongues of angels ongapo najua leo andiko corinthians get me that scripture son nijapozu ni nikaamua niwe na ongea that means prophet david richard inamaanisha prophet so david richard so pro sir you are working with angels At- kama unatembea na malombo kilichotupa sio kwa watu mbe na watu 20 uliokoa watu moja ya mara mara what is mara ni time bonus nipe muda na masaa mawili kikombe mimi ndo naye chelesha maisha yangu mm. that's where i want to get by the time nimefika mahali ambapo your mind inaku inakwambia ni wewe ndo chanzo cha matatizo yako then nitaishia hapo leo because you've been blaming a lot of people and things around you kwa sababu mko kila umu kwa sababu time is wakati mwingine ni wewe kuna kauli inasema wewe ndo una nguvu ya mwisho maishani mwako you have the last say una kauli ya mwisho hata Mungu mwenyewe anaweza kusema sikutaki even you can tell god i don't want it. and he leaves you know that right yes sir unaweza kumkataa Mungu that's how powerful you are ndivyo ulivyo na nguvu kesi you can get to a point where you can allow unamru unamruhusu aje you allow god, to come god you are on creator mumbaji wako au unamwambia hemo niache kidogo or you tell him leave me That's how Alibu. powerful a human being is. Ndivyo mwanadamu alivyo na nguvu kiasi hiki. Look at your neighbor say neighbor. Mwangalie jirani yako mbele. Ni kwamba tu ujitambui. It's just that you ah, don't know yourself. Aja uh, aja kwa aja kuelewa mwangalie machoni mwambie ni kwamba tu haujitambui. It's just that you don't know who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for me son. Wa Korintho ngapi? Wa Korintho wa kwanza sura 13 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. Nisome kwa Kiswahili mimi nitasoma kwa Kiingereza please. Aha. Uh-huh. Nijaposema kwa lugha za wanadamu na za malaika. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, uh-huh. kama sina upendo, nimekuwa shaba iliyao na upatu uvuma. Kama sina upendo. Kama sina upendo. Mwangalie huyo ambaye anasema mimi naombaga masaa sita, masaa kumi na mbili mwambie kama una upendo ya wasting time. If you do not have love, unapoteza muda. Eh, mimi nimetokea na malaika mwenye mbawa saba mwambie you are wasting time. Mwambie unapoteza muda. Malaika wangu ana jicho moja mwambie you are wasting time. Mwambie unapoteza muda. Nimeruka nikafika mpaka huko mbinguni mwambie you are wasting time. Why? I Because when I'm with you I don't feel the love. Maana nikiwa na wewe si uone upendo. You mm, turn to your neighbor say neighbor. You okay jirani yako mwambie jirani. Usinitishe na maono yako. Usinitishe na maono yako. There is a scripture that says. Kuna ndiko linalosema. I speak in the languages of men or the languages of angels there is a lot of movement in my church tonight minister please help me tonight please help me help me the devil is alive there is a lot of movement jirani yako akiwa anatingishika muambie tulia 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 muambie tunataka kuingia kwenye mara 
Hallelujah. A media, please walk faster and position yourself. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Hallelujah. Though Amen. put that scripture for us, uh, number two, Rudia, can you and declare to a Corinthia Kwanza Kumina Tatu Moja? Though I speak the, with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging that vessel. Twendele, I'm start appealing. And though I have a hand, Nisome, you got to appeal. Eh, tena ni yapokuwa na unabi. Though I can prophesy, oh yeah, in the realms of the spirit, I saw by the eyes of the Lord, niliona kwa jicho la bwana. Your name is Anita. Ah, my father, my father, you have seen well. Umeona vyema. Anita, you live in Kigamboni. You are prophet. Wewe ni nabi. Anita, tomorrow you are going to look for a job. Yes, sir. Airtel is about to give you a job. It is true. I'm going there. After you have done that. Baada ya kufanya hayo yote. Wise men and women, watu wenye hekima, they observe your character. Wanaangalia tabia zako. Spirits, roho, spiritual people, watu wa rohoni, and spirits around. Na roho ambazo They are not kuzunguka. moved with those things. Hawatikisi na hivyo vitu. Viwango vya unajua ni wewe ambaye bado una una, una Unashangaga watu wakiwa natuwa unabi Ni wewe ah, Look at your neighbor, say neighbor Mwambi bado upo kwenye viwango vya kushanga watu You are still in the levels of being shocked by people But people have already gone far Lakini watu wamesha kwenda mbali sana It's imagine if Jesus But a picture kama Yesu Was doing all those miracles Zuri nafanya wema wa utoaji kuna watu wana uwezo wa kutoa there are people who have an ability to because people unadanganywa una kwamba wanayetoa wana upendo the bible says even though i give all my things mm. to the poor if there is no love inamaanisha kuna means, watu ambao mungu kwenye macho yake ameshuhudia wanatoa vitu vyao wanawapa watu ila akiangalia ndani ya mioyo yao but when he looks in their hearts Sijui mnanielewa kwamba tuongelee matendo hapa. Yes, Tunaongelea what is inside of you. Tunaongelea kilicho ndani yako. That means you can tap into some soup. There are dimension prophecy can come without you can prophesy without love. Unaweza kutabiri bila upendo. You can cast out devils without love. Unaweza kukemea mapepo bila upendo. Yaani kuna vitu vingi sana mlokole anaweza kafanya ambavyo havihusiani kabisa na the main thing which is love. There is a lot that a Christian can do ambayo hahusiani na kitu cha msingi cha upendo. Give. Unaweza ukatoa. Mali zako. Nisomee mstari wa ngapi? Watatu eh? Mstari wa tatu. Uh-huh. Tena nikitoa mali zangu zote kualisha maskini. Kualisha maskini. Huh? Tena nikijitoa mwili wangu niungue moto. Nikaamua ni, nijichome moto kwa ajili ya watu. Kama sina upendo hainifaidi kitu. If there is no love. Kama hakuna upendo. Now imagine umeona hizo hiyo 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 list. Unaona hiyo orodha. Please number we not not this thing. because tomorrow as we are fasting our Mana first prayer trouble. point is love. Prayer point yetu ya kwanza ni upendo. So kesho usiulize tunaombea nini? Tushakwambia. So don't ask tomorrow what are we praying for? We are ready to. wako uwe na upendo zaidi. Pray that your heart is full of love even more. I don't know kama ume, ume, ume how many people are maelewa hii scripture? Yes sir. The scripture is teaching you something deep. Andiko linakufundisha kitu cha kina. Don't even be deceived with men of God. Usidanganywe hata na watu wa Mungu. Ah, that one is a powerful man of God. Yule ni mtu wa Mungu mwenye nguvu sana. Upendo. All my life. Maisha yangu yote. I have known prof- one of the greatest prophets in our time, though one of the most controversial prophets. Nimefahamu nabii mmoja ya nabii mmoja mkuu katika nyakati zetu na nabii ambaye haeleweki kwa kweli nyingi sana has a lot of scandals prophet shepherd bushiri i have seen that man prophesying crazy nimemwona kitabiri kwa i've seen that man calling the glory of god ikaja kama kisulisuli hivi life 
I've seen all sorts of things. I've seen him gather nations. Nimeona kikusanya mataifa. Nimeona mighty things. Nimeona mambo makuu. I have never ever posted him. Sijai kumpost. Until yesterday. Mpaka jana. I saw him. Nilimuona. If wale ambao wameona story yangu, wangapi wameona my story? Me you don't move me with your prophecies anymore. Mimi hunisumbui na unabita. You don't move me hata ningeona pale anafufua binadamu ambaye amekufa siku kumi. I wouldn't be shaken. Nisinge what tukizu. moved me? It's when Kilicho. I saw he called a family. Nilipoona alipoita familia. Mtoto mmoja ambaye alikuwa ame 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 amepigwa kama mwizi mtaani ili alichuku, aliiba sio unajua kuna watu wengine wanaiba sio kama niwezi you know aliiba ili akale na mama yake so kule Malawi wakampiga mawe aka trend yule mtoto kule and that child trend major one major one akamtafuta yule mtoto he looked for that boy na mama yake and his mother that when yeah. i watched that video i wanted to cry yesterday i know video this me have seen mighty things that this man me they don't move me mimi have been stood when i saw compassion nilivoona huruma yake upendo i said god this is what i want nikasema mungu hiki ndicho nakitaka not how he can prophesy not niwe na kanisa kubwa no no those things don't move me i have we have developed in places of god where tunajua mungu anataka nini tumekuwa mpaka kiwango ambacho we know what god wants what you think god wants is actually not what he wants unachotani mungu anataka mungu anachotaka kwenu sicho what you think god wants is not what Ata he wants hata kabisa hayupo huko he is not there at all love upendo when i saw love nilipoona upendo i reposted love nika repost i upendo. shared love Kasema this has to be shared. The people have to see this. Nikasema watu inabidi waone hili. If it was just another prophecy, I wouldn't be moved. Ningekuwa ni unabitu mwingine wala nisingeshtushwa. Ya nini? What for? Maana mbele za Mungu hivyo vitu havimsaidii chochote. Because before God those things don't help him nothing. God is where there is love. Mungu yuko ambapo kuna upendo. Na mimi nitajiambatanisha na vitu vya upendo upendo. I will align myself to things that has to do with love. Umeiona hiyo? You so saw that one. One thing that makes kwa sababu mara the mara dimension kiwango cha mara. It is the dimension ni kiwango where God ambapo Mungu allows spiritual things anaruhusu mambo ya rohoni to come in your life in a manifested way. Kuja maisha ni mwako katika namna ya utihirisho. Yaani nikiwa namaanisha kwamba ulikuwa unaombea na unaamini na unaona katika ndoto zako kwamba utakuja kuwa mtu mkubwa siku moja pale ambapo vile vitu vimetokea. Where those things have manifested. You are now touching what you have been praying your prayer. Unaanza kugusa vile ambavyo ulikuwa unaviona. You are now unaviyo. living it. Unakiishi. Ulikuwa unaomba You were you praying. praying kwamba siku moja niwe mwanasiasa now you are a politician sasa umekuwa mwanasiasa a celebrated politician in your nation anefurahiwa that is now lako. mara hiyo ni mara you are living what you have been praying for unaishi you are now physically kwa namna ya living your, your, your what your prayer unaishi maombi yako sinaeleweka anachoongea kwa sababu yes, kabla sija kuchanganya na angels and demons which tuta, i will spend the last one hour for that let me first share these other things ngoja ni share na sama wili kwa hiyo la kwanza ni maisha yetu ya kila siku then the pili tutaongelea vitu viumbe wengine si ndio but let me explain to you this ngoja ni kueleze hii mara is manifested in two ways mara inadhihirika katika namna number one, ya kwamba living what you have been trusting god for kuishi kile ambacho umekuwa kimwamini Mungu you have been praying for umekuwa kiomba kwa jina you have been fasting for umekuwa kifunga kwa jina you have been waiting for umekuwa kimngojea bwana kwa jina sasa hivi hauzioni kwenye ndoto unazishika now you don't see them in dreams you, you were you were you are praying for something uliomba kwa ajili ya kitu now you got it out sasa, of prayer kupata kutoka kwenye maombi yani kweli kabisa kutoka huko huko kwenye maombi from your prayer vimetokea huko now you are living it sasa unaishi you are praying for a job uliko naomba kwa ajili ya kazi but now you are employed na sasa umeajiriwa you are in the mara dimension upo katika kiwango Why? cha mara kwa sababu hujapata hiyo kazi kwa sababu ya cheti because you did You're not, not get that job because of mara is it kuna mtu atasema okay kwa kwa hiyo kumbe nimenua gari naendesha gari no ume We are talking about you prayed uliomba 
you first you that thing came Kipokitu. out as a result of a spiritual practice you did kimetokana na mazoezi ya kiroho ambayo ulikuwa unayofanya sio na ability of a man kwamba ah, sio uwezo wa mwanadamu nilipomaliza chuo nikapata kazi nilipopata kazi pale ofisini kukaa na mkopo no it's not a mara it's not a miracle sio mujiza it did not come supernaturally haikuja kwa namna ya rohoni hiyo imekuja kwa mkakati it came strategically nane nane nanielewa kidogo ninachoongea yani wewe mpaka umeolewa ume umemhonga mpaka mama mkwe mama nipigie debe mama mama ongea na mtoto wako mama you are here uko hapa bazoka ya daba by fire by force you took it you took that word ulichukua hilo neno and you said this it means by all means ikas ukasema hii inamaanisha kwa namna zote so wewe ukam ukam ukamhonga mpaka wanamuita who is your your sister in law the sister in law is called what wifi said wifi on the, his list put my name there kwenye list yake weka jina langu Now that is not mara. Sasa hiyo sio mara. That is strategic. Hiyo imekaa kimkakati. It is human abilities and intellect. Huo ni uwezo wa mwanadamu. Mara is mara. when Jesus prayed for bread. Ni pale ambapo Yesu aliomba kwa ajili ya mkate. The, the, the few uh, loaves of bread and a few fish. Mikate michache na samaki wachache. And then it, it can multiply. Thousands of people ate maelfu ya watu wakaa that is mara hiyo ni mara something came out of a result of a spiritual ability kitu ambacho kimetokana na uwezo wa kiroho bwana yesu asifiwe mikakati mipango ni mizuri sana kwenye maisha ila the, you, there you are not walking in the supernatural lakini hapo hautembei katika majabu ya rohoni you have failed to get a child umeshindwa kupata mtoto so you got uh, i don't know wanafanya nini these days uh, mama alikuwa anajaribu kunieleza siku moja people do a lot of things watu wanafanya vitu you can you can you can you can plant an ad- on another woman something like that inaitwa nini hiyo iv eh you see you I swear to God mimi sijuagi hiyo inaitwaje. I don't know what that And thing I'm is. I'm very called. intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Something is happening in this church. Kuna kitu kinatokea kwenye kanisa. Kuna mikakati mingi umdani sana. There is a lot of strategies in this. You know church. these things. Mnajua sana hivi vitu. Now, you see that the, and then umepata mtoto in that form. And you got that a child. is not a miracle. Huo so mujibu. That is not mara. Hiyo sio mara. Mara is when. Mara ni pale ambapo. Hana you have been calling upon the Lord. Hana umekuwa ukilitia jina la Bwana. Eli blesses Alafu. you. Eli akakubariki. And suddenly Na Samuel safi. comes. Samuel akae. No human amna doctor amna nani no 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 it, even you when they ask you how did it happen you see when it comes to mara you don't have an explanation inapokuja kwenye mara unakuwa hauna maelezo as long as you can explain mama ulivoweza kumsomesha mtoto wako marekani you, it's not, you're, you're still walking in a low dimension bado unatembea kwenye kiwango cha chini nabidi ifike ambapo unasema i don't know what happened sijui kilichotokea i put faith iliweke mali nikampeleka nikalipia tem moja nikiwa najua kabisa sina hela tem ija ila akapata sponsorship mara is working mara inatafanya it is you you well you ay. out of nothing came something kutoka katika kitu ambacho si kitu kilitoka kitu are you hearing me so now viwango hivyo so those dimensions if it can happen in your daily life kama inaweza kutokea katika maisha yako ndio maana kabla hujawaza mapepo na majini na mashetwani naomba nikueleze mara ambayo inaweza kutokea in your daily life let me explain to you mara that can happen kwenye maisha yako kila siku you can live a divine life a supernatural life unaweza ukaishi maisha you are, kwa majabu ya roho things are happening in your life vitu vinatokea maishani mwako as a result of your faithfulness before god kama matokeo ya uaminifu wako mbele za mungu it is happening not because you are intelligent it is happening because there is something called favor on me you see favor is a divine gift ni karama ya kiungu kibali ni karama ya kiungu 
a divine gift. Kwa mtu unapata unakubalikaje mwambie I wish I could show you how. Natamani kuonyesha jinsi. But there is jika. just something called favor on my head. Lakini kuna kitu kinaitwa kibali juu ya kichwa changu. It is something that I cannot explain. Ni kitu ambacho siwezi kuelezea. Words cannot explain. Maneno hayawezi akaelezea. No. Mambo mangapi maishani mwako? So how many were, how many things in your life? Maneno hayawezi kuelezea. Words cannot explain. Turn to your neighbor's name. Yokeje ndani yako mbe jirani. How many things? Ni vitu vingapi? Words cannot explain. Maneno hayawezi kuelezea. Ni vitu vingapi maisha ni mwako? How many things? Maneno hayawezi kuelezea. Father give me an investor Jesus. I have a plan but I I don't know how to execute this plan. Baba nipe mwekezaji. Nina wazo la biashara lakini sijui namna gani ya kuanza kulifanyia kazi. I have done all that I can do. Nimefanya vyote ninavyoweza kufanya. I have tried all ways I can try. Nimejaribu namna zote ambazo naweza kufanya. Spirit of God help me. Roho Mungu nisaidie. I have a business plan. Nina wazo la biashara hapa. I don't know how to make it a reality. Sijui namna kufanya iwe uhalisia. Somebody just after two days somebody calls you and says, do you, "Do you know somebody?" Anakwambia unamjua mtu that has ever been involved in so and so ambaye ameshawahi kufanya kitu fulani na fulani why are you asking me this question kwa nini unaniuliza hili swali because there is a chinese man kwa sababu kuna mchina that is looking for people to work with do you know anybody unamjua yeyote Two days ago you prayed for an investor. Siku mbili zilizopita umeomba. Two days umeomba. later somebody is calling you asking. He's just asking. Siku randomly badai, asking. Mtu anauliza exactly what is on your paper. Kile kile ambacho kipo kwenye karatasi yako. Hey. Natamani ningekuwa Arusha sijui wangenielewa zaidi. I professor. I receive. Hey. I declare and I decree I receive the impossible shall become a possibility in the name of Jesus. Yes, you wezekana yatawezekana katika jina la Yesu. I wish ungekuona nielewa na I am I am living that life. Ninaishi hayo maisha. Something is attracting things your way. Kuna kitu tu kinavuta vitu kuelekea kwako. There is something that just wants you to make it. Kuna kitu tu kinataka ufanikiwe. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. There is something kuna kitu somewhere mali somehow kwa namna fulani that wants you to have the best. Kinataka uwe na kilicho bora. It's like a magnet kama smart that pulls what you have been trusting god for kile ambacho umekuwa ukimwamini mungu your direction kuelekea kwako a ma a level where you live your prayer life kiwango ambapo unaishi maisha yako ya maombi yani sasa hivi unaomba right now you are praying maombi mengi ambayo wewe mwenyewe hujui mangapi amejibiwa mangapi bado hayajibiwa a lot of prayers that many you don't know that but imagine are answered you get to a place but a picture unafika mahali where ambapo you even get to a place where you don't have prayers unafika mahali ambapo hauna maombi tena yani prayer point hauna zinaisha a finished because you have reached to a level where what you desire umefika kiwango ambapo the bible says i shall give you the desires of your heart nitakupa shauku ya moyo wako i can tell you 99.999% of the people in this church hajafika kwenye level ya kupewa haja za mioyo yao but the bible lakini biblia is telling us inatuambia that there is a, a dimension in god kuna kiwango katika where by you don't pray anymore ambapo hauombi tena you desire unakuwa na shauku you understand the word desire unajua neno shauku i desire in june i go to rest for two weeks in dubai 
Inatamani mwezi wa sita nikapumzike Dubai kwa kibi. Come on, we don't you don't need to start praying for Dubai. Hauhitaji kuanza kuomba kwa jina lake. Neighbor, say neighbor. A place where sinners go to enjoy, you are praying for it. Mahali ambapo watenda dhambi wanaenda kufurahia maisha, wewe unaomba. Amwangalia tulivyoshuka viwango sisi wa lokole. A place ambapo mshirikina anaenda kuenjoy hela zake. A Christian is calling upon the spirit of the Lord. Mkristo anamuitia Roho Mtakatifu. Take me to Dubai. Oh Lord. Let me break this curse. Lift up your right hand. Inoa mkono wako kulia. My desires shall manifest. Shauku zangu zitadhihirika. Natamani ningekuwa na mtu mmoja ambaye anachukulia serious. I wish I had somebody who is Father, taking this serious. In the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. My desires. Shauku zangu shall manifest. Zitadhihirika. Shall become a reality. Zitakuwa uhalisia. In Jesus is mighty. Kwa jina la Yesu. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Are you hearing? Me? Do you know wewe una, bado unaombaga Mungu afungue mlango upate simu ya macho matatu? mgeke jirani akwambie what is happening in your life mwangali ni japonena kwa lugha za malaika na lugha za look at the person ambaye anazo hizo lugha ndani yake mwambie you cannot be serious yani unajua mwana Mungu tumeshaacha kuombea vitu vya serious vya maisha tunaombea vitu ambavyo ni Yaani mshirikina haombi. Anapiga simu. iPhone mpya ipo. Ni pele ni jibi nyingi ije nyumbani sasa hivi. A child of God is sweating. Mwana wa Mungu anatoka so kata. Ah. Weni ruhusu ni kuingiza kwenye mara tu. Allah me to usha you into. Weni ruhusu tu. Uchungu nilionao wewe uwezi ukaelewa. The bitterness that I have you cannot understand. Wanasema uchungu wa mwana ujua baba. Mi, mi nina ujua uchungu wako. Mi I know your bitterness. You see it has to get to a point. Lazima ifike mwana. Whereby hizi ni vitu vya kawaida sana. Ambapo these are normal things. And things that sinners have we are praying for them. Vitu ambavyo watenda dhambi wanavyo sisi tunaomba. Sasa vitu vya rohoni tunavipataje how will we get spiritual things maana kuna vitu vizito kuliko hivyo visim na hizo hizo ayo magari na hizo hizo vitu they are heavier things kuna vitu vizito the bible says in the book of joel nitakuonyesha ishara mbinguni moto damu moshi I'm, read for me uh, the book of joel chapter number 2 verse, verse 30 i think kitabu cha Yoeli sura ya pili mstari Nomba fungue Biblia tuendelee tunaendelea mara taratibu Yoeli sura ya pili mstari mstari wa 30 Yes Nami nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu Mambo ya ajabu Aha. katika mbingu katika mbingu na katika dunia na katika dunia Dam na moto Dam na moto na minara ya moshi na minara ya moshi jua litageuzwa kuwa giza jua utakuja kuyaona lini haya wakati bado sasa hivi unaomba hela ya kodi father in the name of jesus do it lord do it lord do it zoro bosete even unakumbuka the tongues of baba yako maybe my tongues are not working like <laughs> Let me let me pray like prophet. Ngoja niombe kama nabii. Nafuta isia unajua. Mara basoto. Koroboshi. You know sometimes even God and our congregants what is happening this <laughs> week. It has become difficult. Imekuwa ngumu sana. You know what why you unajisikia ugumu? It's like a man of God. Ni kama mtu wa Mungu. That is devoted in God ame amejitoa kwa Mungu amekaa mbali na dhambi he has stayed away from sin God anampenda Mungu dedicated their lives to serve God ametoa maisha yake kumtumikia Mungu but there is no manifestation lakini hakuna udhihirisho ah anaweza akafa stress ni nyingi sana alafu huyo man of God anaangalia jinsi other men of God are jumping around they are doing hooligans ni wauni wauni tu ila akisimama hivyo akisimama kwa jina la Yesu watu wanaruka ruka huko that man of God 
will be frustrated. That woman of God will be disturbed. Woman of God that is how the body of Christ is. It is asking for things that a man, a man of God should carry manifestations naturally. Why? Because anointing. Even if this man is not that deep in prayer, why? Because there is something called an anointing on his head. The spirit of the Lord has anointed my head roa bwana amenipaka mafuta kichwani mwangu there is such a scripture right yes sir so you achana mimi mi, prophet kuku anoint there is the natural anointing of a man that is serving god naturally kuna ule upako wa roa mungu amekupaka mafuta the spirit of the but lord hata hiyo yenyewe haionekani but even that one is not seen so kuna vitu naturally kama binadamu lazima uwe navyo yani kuwa na nyumba ya kuishi ni vitu ambavyo sio vya kuomba we ni binadamu hmm. these are as a, we have got tumefika point hata hivi hatuna even these ones we do not have so now even the natural ways of living hata namna tu za kawaida za kuishi are now prayer points zimekuwa prayer point Sio mnanielewa wana Mungu. Yaani awa ni maisha. Yaani sasa yaani hata hivi sasa. Yaani kuna ile hata hata tu maisha yako ya kila siku. Even your daily life. Vocha. You need a miracle. Unahitaji muujiza. Kwa jina bando liingie kwenye simu. You need a hey, jamani prophet leo atakuwa live. Yesu fanya njia. Alafu unaona something is okay in your life. Alafu unaona kuna kitu kuna alafu ubaya wa hivi vitu inafika point unavizoea unaona kama ni kawaida tu mbona. It's not normal. Sio kawaida. Child of God. Mwana wa Mungu. It's not normal in 2024. Sio kawaida. 2024. Unashindwa kupanda hata uba. You cannot even get on a uba. Yaani wale walioleta uba wamewaletea wananchi. <laughs> Komba, God ameleta gari la bure in your life. You just request umepanda gari na AC unaenda. It, it is also a pro. Una gari. You don't have a car. Na imeletwa huipanda. And that one is brought. You don't use it. Basi hata uanze ku manifest kuelewa gari ikoje. Car and you know you <laughs> ila kabada. And then alafu That's when you understand. Hapo ndipo unaelewa. There is a problem. Let me give you kwenye dimension hii ya maisha yetu ya kila siku how mara ilikuepo in the days of Jesus. Peter, Petro and his brothers. Na ndugu zake. They went fishing. Walienda kuvua samaki. The whole night usiku mzima. They were tr- these are professional fishermen. Hawa ni wataalamu wa uvuvi. Peter is an experienced fisherman. His business is fishing. Ni mvuvi mfanyabiashara. Galilee is close to the waters. Galilaya ipo karibu na bahari. Peter was born there. Petro amezaliwa pale. He lived there. He grew up there. Ameishi na kukua pale. Since a, he was a teenager, he has been fishing. Toka akiwa kijana, amekuwa kivua sana. Peter knows every season in that in that lake. Petro anajua kila majira katika ziwa He knows that right now anajua sahihi the fish have moved to that location samaki wamelekea upande ule because it is a trend of every year maana huwa inatokea kila mwaka sio mtu mgeni he is not new and this to... guy went fishing with his brothers professional fishermen na huyu jamaa ameenda kuvua samaki na kaka zake they put the nets wakashusha nyavu the whole night usiku mzima hawajapata samaki hata huyu they did not get even one fish until jesus came mpaka bwana yesu alipo and he says how are you guys akasema habari yenu he said we are fine sir akasema tuko vizuri he says why are you troubled asema kwa nini sir we have been fishing the whole night tumekuwa tukivua usiku angalia hizi neti hamna hata hata dagaa mmoja and jesus said throw the net in the in the in the fish in the, in the, in the lake Alafu akisema but we have done it tumefanya the whole night we have been doing this Usiku mjina, Sir, in kifani. case you don't know who I is Labda haujui mimi ni nani My name is Peter Jina langu ni oh, Petro let me, let, me, let, me, let, let me call you by my ancestor's name my name is Simon Jina langu ni Simon 
the son of Zebedee. <laughs> I have been doing this thing. This I, I pay tax because of this. I take care of my family because of this. But because you have said, I don't know what you are seeing. I don't know what you are. You, I don't know. But let me just believe you for today. I don't know you have never met. But let me put my trust in you. I will throw the net. And he threw the net into the waters. Now because Jesus is yes. in the Mara. There is just something around Jesus that makes the fish come. You are not hearing what I'm hearing. Aya. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the money is coming. I don't like your energy. You can do better. Say the money is coming. The money is coming. Ah, it is the same net. The same location. Mahali pale pale. What happened? Nini the gitoki? fish. Hey, they, they, they sensed there is a man that he lives by manifestations. And did you notice Jesus never prayed? Yes, When it came to the matter of provision, it's not a matter of even thanking and appreciating God. It is what I live with. The man just says, throw the net. It is now me saying, saying it is when another man enters your business company. So now, the Bible says the fish was too much. The net begin, began to break. They put the fish on the boat. The boat began to break. Mara, the same location. Fish were running away from Peter all night. When Jesus, I prophesy, I receive. You are you, there is something you have been trusting God for many years. But I tell you tonight, there shall be an impartation in this place. your neighbor and say neighbor Mara. The manifestation of spiritualities. So even if the fish was, I don't know, hidden by witchcraft. That there are some fishermen who use this witchcraft. They are not coming here. I don't know how to say it. Komba, Yesu alishawa i manifest mara ma, ma, the first miracle of Jesus Mujiza before his disciples was a mara dimension. Ilikuwa ni kiwango cha mara. Bringing what is not there. Kuleta ambacho hakipo. Manifesting what they have been praying for the whole night. Kudirisha kile ambacho wamekuwa kikiomba usiku mzima. We have been praying for this thing. Tumekuwa tukiomba kwa kile. Let there be a miracle. Kukawe na mujiza. But a man just walks in and a miracle takes place. Lakini mtu aliingia na mujiza ukatokea. You will go to places. Utaenda mahali. I said you shall go to places. Utakwenda mahali na mahali. Utaingia sehemu tofauti tofauti. You will enter different places. You will have access in different places. Utakuwa na access sehemu tofauti tofauti. Areas that your entire family cannot enter. My neo ambao family yako yote hawezi kuingia. I tell you, you'll sit with people that your entire family will never sit with. Utakana watu ambao family yako nzima haija kukanao. Why? Kwa nini? You are no longer operating as a normal human. Hautembei tena kama mwanadamu wa kawaida. Where you are? Ulipo? You attract what you think of. Unavuta kile ambacho unakifikiri. It is biblical I shall give you the desires nami nitawapeni shauku za moyo wenu Sio kama kulikuwa hakuna samaki It's not that there were no fish Samaki walikuwa wanawakimbia normally normally kawaida fedha humkimbia mwanadamu 
money runs out of a man. If you don't believe me, come on, yamini. Ukipata f kumi up. When you get ten thousand. Paka shwe, shwe f kumi ten. Until morning, it's no, it's no more. Money is running. Pesa na kibia. Unaitumia kuli kona vo ingiza. You use it more than you make. That is the habit of these things. They are running away from human beings. But with Mara they come to you. Lakini ukiona Mara vinakukimbia. They run to you. Vinakukimbia. Yaani it's the vice versa of me. Uh, that is why nimekuambia kuna vitu ambavyo unaviombea sasa hivi ni kwa sababu tu bado upo kwenye the operation. Wewe hadi simu inakukimbia rafiki yako. Even your phone runs away from you. A phone sim is running away inakukimbia Nimechangachanga jamani vyala vyangu nikapata matatizo kibao nilitaka ninunue simu nzuri I wanted to buy a phone is running sim inakimbia doesn't want to be touched by you haitaki kuguswa na wewe Something small like a phone kitu kidogo kama simu Oppo sounds like a demon i tell you wanga pa mane love how many so the first dimensions of mara is what love ni maisha love whereby Above. things are they are attracted to you because love covers things ko ukiwa ukiwa the center of love things are running to you things are running good things vitu vizuri vinakukimbia kukukimbilia kwa sababu gani kuna there is an energy you are releasing kuna nishati unayoachilia unajua mtu mwenye upendo na anayependwa gwa you know a person that has love is the one that is loved wengi ambao mtu mwenye upendo yule jamaa yule jamaa ana moyo mzuri sana huyo ndio mtu ambaye anaongelewa gwa vizuri so even these things ko hata vivi many of your things are spiritual vitu vingi so vina kuja so they come quickly because there is an energy that is above love is the highest dimension in the spirit upendo ndo kiwango cha juu katika roho because love is god you cannot beat love hauwezi ukashinda upendo hata uchawi wa namna gani hauwezi ukashinda upendo because mungu si hana upendo mungu ndiye upendo so when you have love you have god kwa ukiona upendo una mungu so everything else just comes inaanza kukimbilia vyote vinataka viwe hadi shetani anamtaka mungu even the devil wants god the devil loves Shetan god he is obsessed with god the devil anakuchukia wewe he hates you hajawahi kumchukia mungu he never hates there is god. no scripture that says the devil hates god hakuna andiko linalosema kama shetani anamchukia mungu the, but he wanted to be like god alitaka kuwa kama mungu he doesn't hate god he hates you anakuchukia ambao umechukua nafasi yake that you have taken his position So there is an energy that will bring into manifestation. God so loved the world. Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. What happened? He brought out something from the spiritual to the physical called Jesus. Akaleta kitu kutoka katika roho mpaka katika mwili inaitwa Yesu. Sijui kama ninaeleweka ninachoongea. When God fell in love with the world, Mungu alipopenda ulimwengu he, he came out from his hiding place akatoka mahali pake pa kujiji let these people see me physically akasema ngoja let them watu touch me waniguse let them know that i am alive i'm, 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 I'm around i am a nipo so man began to see god common adam walking on mungu. earth physically by the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu why because love kwa nini kwa sababu love upendo. brought jesus from the spirit upendo ulimleta yesu kutoka roho hivi unaelewa kwamba ni upendo uliomfanya mungu akaishi na wanadamu do you know it is love that made god live with humans so even god kwa hata mungu comes out anatoka from the spiritual kutoka katika hali ya roho the physical kuja katika where mungu. there is love ambapo kuna upendo So sometimes una sio kama issue ni maombi tu maombi ana sehemu yake lakini kuna vitu vingine vina itajika haleluya Let's go to chapter number 2 Angels and Demons Malaika na mapepo Ah 
because you know why nina fundisha both why i'm teaching both uh two topics unajua kwa nini ninafundisha pande zote za mada hii yes it's because there are some of you that are just business people kuna baadhi yenu ni wafanyabiashara tu so the mara will operate kwenye hiyo the realm of love zaidi kwa mara itatenda kazi in these dimensions human elewa iko kiwango cha namba moja ambacho kama petro because you are a businessman kwa sababu ni mfanyabiashara there is no day you, you desire to see angelic beings and demonic beings hakuna siku natamani kuona viumbe wa malaika you sit in boardrooms wewe unakaa kwenye vikao vya board you will sit in meetings utakaa kwenye vikao you will discuss mane utajadili fedha your destiny is to, so you need to attract deals kwa inabidi uvute deals sije kama naeleka kwa sababu kuna mtu mmoja sasa sasa hii ina news nini you are not you are not destined for mane how do you, you not understand what auto elewa na chikisa ila wale ambao wa, mikono yao inawashaga unajua kuna ile tabia unakwambia mkono unaniwasha they, are, they have captured a revelation wamekamata ufunuo hapo that jesus will do something Mama, an energy Yesu that will attract prosperity energy itakavuta mafanikio hmm? ko kuna mtu atumpe sasa na huyu mwingine Let's give kidonge chake the other one the appeal. Sio kuna mtu hapa ambaye maisha yake atakuwa Mungu amemdestin kupigana na wachawi. As sisi tunapata hela huko yeye is covering us in the spirit. Fighter which is pambana na wachawi wetu. You know that eh? kuna watu ambao ni wapo hapa ambao they will be covering you. Your brothers you know my brother kuna issue yangu hebu nakutumia kwanza hapo kisadaka kidogo hebu ni pray declare. <laughs> Snais kama kuna nguvu za kichawi zinafa. Akwambia <laughs> lift up your hands wherever you are zokate. Abela zokadagadagada. Asa huyo 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 we need to give them chapter number 2. Huyo inabidi. Because huyo ndo atakwambia ninaona katika ulimwengu wa roho wakati huu. Kuna mwarabu hapo, si ndio? sasa huyo ndo mwanga you know there are two people in this place kuna watu aina mbili mali hapa the, the corporate people you know watu wa, wa, wa corporate i don't know how to what is corporate what is corporate and then kuna the, the other ones kuna watu wa biashara na wengine kuna watu wajasiri wa mali wanafanya biashara wafanya kazi maofisini kwa the mara yenyewe itakuwa ina work ina kwenye engo hiyo kwa hiyo mara itakuwa inafanya kazi kuna wengine hapa ambao mtakuwa mnatoa watu miskule ndugu yako mskule kwa jina njoo <laughs> so we need to give you also that kwa inabidi tukupe hiyo pia hiyo neema inabidi ije kwa kwa that grace has to come now it is ni muda wako sasa wewe unaye nao ni majira yako sasa open the book of fungua kitabu of kings cha wafalme take the stage and then zukata bada belekija ada first book of kings chapter number 19 verse 5 wafalme wa kwanza sura 19 mstari wa 5 mm, sauti ya wale waliao nyikani nataka niwape vitu vyenu sasa <laughs> <laughs> wale ambao watavaa watavaa nini ngozi za wanyama na kula asali na nzige na asali na nzige where are you people you, i'm about to give you a thing nakaribia kuapa kitu chenwa wewe ambao ulimwambiaga bwana sitaki chochote na kutaka kutumikia wewe tu it is now about to happen <laughs> eh? Eh? You, you are you you pray dangerous prayers If I die I die. Kati kuna watu wanaambia Mungu nifungulie malango ya kimataifa wewe unamwambia if I take my life. If you don't open my eyes I'm dying. Ya nini? Hmm? 
There are people like that. Their desire iko tofauti na wewe. When you are praying for marriage, they saying, I don't need marriage, I need you. Eh? Don't give me marriage, give me you. Now, kebale <laughs> gada. You see, when we king ya kwenye maombi wana shuma bona esu. When you enter pray say Lord Jesus this year I believe unaenda kunifanikisha you are going to prosper this year I will drive my car itaendesha gari langu mtu ameingia prayer there is somebody who has entered prayer this year let me walk as a pillar of fire nitembee kama nguzo ya moto anywhere i go let them be scattered popote nitakapoenda wakasambara shame them that want to shame me waibishe wanataka kuniaibisha follow them that follow me wafate wanaonifuata mimi pursue those that pursue me destroy those that want to destroy me. Waharibu wanataka kuniharibu. Kill my killers. Uwa wa wajiwa. Anybody. Yeyote. Even if it is my auntie. Hata kama ni shangazi yangu. That is looking me with a bad eye. Aneniangalia kwa jicho mbaya. Let them die. They are here. Ela ya ya ya. Uza kata kata. You see the difference? Unaona tofauti? Well 2024 is the year of the archangel unawaza malaika anifungulie yani nikifungua biashara pale kare yako watanitambua yani nitauza mpaka watakimbia then kuna mwingine anasema Mike cover me fly with me hey ah jesus angel of the lord malaika wa bwana First book of Kings chapter number 19 verse 5. Read for me. Wow. Then as he lay to sleep. Wafalme kwanza. Wait. Wait. Let's begin verse number 1. Wafalme kwanza sura 19 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. Yes, verse number 1. Basi Ahabu akamwambia Ezebeli habari ya mambo yote aliyoyafanya Elia. Na jinsi alivyowaua manabii wote kwa upanga. Yes. Ndipo Yezebeli akampelekea Elia mjumbe kusema And Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying so let the gods do to me and more also ha huh? Miungu wanifanyie hivyo na kuzidi mm-hmm. nisipo kufanya roho yako kesho panapo wakati huu You see these ones these ones are not fishermen these ones hawa so avuvia These ones are not looking for the next business deal hao hawatafuti deal ya biashara ya ndoa. fighting with Jezebel. Hao wanapambana na Jezebel. Principalities and powers. Wakuwa anga. Rulers. Na watawala. This one uku unatumiwa vitisho. Let the gods do to me as what you have done to my prophets. Miungu inifanyie mimi kama ulivyofanya kwa manabii wangu. For the corporate people. Kwa watu wa biashara. Ushirikana ushirikina wenu ni waki waki wa teknolojia. Unajua mtu anapiga tu simu asemye mimi niminyie hapo asipate hiyo bwana unashanga tu mambo yako yana yumbo hamna mchawi ni mtu tu katuma ka, ka, ka 200 umezuiliwa ume huku kwetu Jezebel sends people spirits they appear in your room they say <coughs> yes, Jezebel anatuma anasema ndivyo anavyosema Jezebel ah read for me please ndipo Yezebel akampelekea Elia mjumbe kusema ah. miungu wanifanyie hivyo na kuzidi it cannot happen easily kwenye ulimwengu wa kibiashara eti mtu anaanza kukwambia miungu inifanyie hivyo wapi miungu gani but there are people here i'm speaking to lakini kuna watu hapa naongea nao they are meant their lives are meant to 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 you know, kuna kuna watu ambao ndo tunawahitaji pia hawa tunawahitaji there are people we that we need people that can destroy the the, the prophets of baal tunahitaji watu ambao wanaweza kuharibu manabii wa baal when you are making deals ukiwa there are some of your brothers and sisters on mountains kuna kaka zako na dada zako kwenye milima destroying powers wanaharibu hizi tawala hello yes, there are people kuna watu that they are destined to set others free wamekewa hatima ya kuwaweka wengine huru wanaweza sijakawa na hela kama wewe wakawa na maisha like makubwa kama ya kwako lakini ni wa muhimu sana but they are very important 
These are people Hawa ni watu. that God has strategically placed in positions and places. Ama Mungu amaweka mahali na mahali kimkakati. To take down the kingdom of darkness. Kuangusha ufalme wa giza. You wewe are the testimony of their prayers. Ni ushuhuda wa maombi yao. Wakati wewe unakuja hapa na unasema nimepata uh, award, nimechaguliwa kuwa mfanyabiashara mkubwa sijui East Africa Mashariki tunakupigia makofi the people that are clapping hands. Watu wanapiga yes, makofi. Yesterday yeah. they were taking down principalities Walikuwa of East Africa. Walikuwa wakusha wakuwa anga wa Afrika Mashariki. I don't know kama unanielewa ninachomaanisha. There are two kinds of people Kuna aina in a church. Watu, there are those Kuna wale. that their testimonies about should God is proving to men and nations that he can do. Mungu anathibitisha kwa watu na mataifa kwa mande za Watu na mataifa kwamba anaweza akafanya pia kwa walokole au watoto wake. And then there are people that God has designed to prove to the devil fallen angels witches and demons kuna watu ambao Mungu amwambia that there is a person that can also take down kama kuna mtu anaweza akangusha madhara zote your powers your territories i don't know come on now. look at your neighbor say neighbor where uko wapi where are you are you called to prove to men that god can raise men uko kwa ajili ya kudhibitisha kwa watu kama Mungu anaweza kuinua watu sababu tunawahitaji nyie pia because we need you to mpeperushe bendera ya Kristo kwa mataifa mm. We need people that can stand and say they are billionaires and they pray in tongues. Kuna watu tunahitaji wanaweza kusimama kama people that billionaire. can be in places and positions ambazo leo kesho tumeletewa shida kama angels of God tunapiga simu anapiga simu kwa IGP anasema hiyo hiyo ni family yangu do not that touch that family. family. We, we need family. such people. Tunahitaji watu wa aina hiyo. But also there are other people lakini kuna watu wengine pia. But they are called to face the devil ambao wameitwa you, you might not know them unaweza ukao wajui you, they are not on tv hawapo kwenye television they, 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 you are not hearing what i'm hearing they are not celebrities minister how are so maru they are not driving fancy cars how are they they are the ones that are controlling Tanzania ndio wao wanaiendesha Tanzania they are controlling the body of christ wanaendesha mwili wa kristo afya ya mwili wa kristo Tanzania the health in of the body of christ na watu wa chache sana is led by very few people men and women that live in the mara wanawake na wanaume wana they tell the angel la miwe wake up malaika la miwe it is time to go ni muda wa kwenda and cover that family na kufunika ile familia usiku leo what you are in not hearing me Luka chene ban chene ba. Mwangalie jirani yako mwambeje. Where are you? Uko wapi? Hey, which one are you? Wewe ni upi? Look at your neighbor and the neighbor. Mwangalie jirani yako mwambeje jirani. You are which one? Wewe ni upi? Amesemaje? Ana peperusha bendera ya mataifa. Yeah. That one sounds good. It's glorious that one. Hiyo ni nzuri sana. Hiyo inaonekanaga. Hiyo inakuja na vigeregere na makofi. But that one jana umepigana na 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 na, na, na. kwanza tukija kuambia watu hawa. Even if you come to tell people they don't believe. Na waamini. Kwamba jamani jana tulivamiwa, wachawi waliingia ndani. <laughs> eh jamani. Anakona kama mweu. Si unanielewa? Yes. Yaani ni mtu fulani ambaye ume ulokole unamsumbua huyo ameanza kudata and then kuna watu ambao unapiga una, una simu sana jamani eh hey, mama hey, umoja wa mataifa umenichagua niende ku represent Tanzania kule New York eh hey, mwanangu yake reke de 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 wana de 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 eh si unanielewa kwamba kuna mtu ambaye that there is a person Mungu atampa ndoa ile aonyeshe kwamba anaweza kavunja laana za watu kutokolewa afu kuna wale ambao ndo they are, they are delivering others marriages kuna wale ambao wanakomboa ndoa za watu hao wale wake and they don't get married don't give me a ministry give me you ameoa wewe Kwa maana kwa maana before nika unleash what I'm about to unleash which Kapa one are you wewe ni upi jianze kujistathmini haraka haraka kuna watu washajielewa hapa uh, mimi jamani mimi mfanyabiashara mimi ama business person mimi mm, mjasiria mali 
Mimi ni mwalimu wa shule ya msingi ila babangu ni prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna mtu ashajitafuta ashajipata. Then kuna wale they are like wandering spirits. Kama roho zinazotanga tanga they want more, they want grace, they want your power, dimension. Those ones we are now coming to your levels. Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah. Ndipo Jezebel akapeleka mjumbe kwa Elia kusema miungu wanifanyie vivyo hivyo na kuzidi. Nisipokufanya roho yako kesho panapo wakati huu kama roho ya mmoja wapo wa hao. Naye alipoona hayo aliondoka akaenda akaifadhi roho yake. Akafanyaje? Akaondoka akaifadhi nini? Roho yake. yake. So the prophet Elijah ran. Uh-huh. Akafika Beersheba yes. wa Yuda akamwacha mtumishi wake huko. Yes. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akaendelea katika jangwa mwendo wa siku moja. Mm-hmm. Akaenda akaketi chini ya mretemu. Akaenda akaketi chini ya nini? Ya mretemu. You see? Ambapo the Bible says but he himself went in a day's journey into the wilderness. Mahali pa ukame jangwani. You want to take down Jezebel. Unataka kumwangusha Jezebel. You want to take down powers. Unataka kuangusha mamlaka. Rulers of darkness, Watawala, legions of wakisa, demons, majesh, kings mapepo. and queens from the waters. Wafalme na malikia kutoka majini. Mamids, spiritual husbands, Gupa, wives and all mahaba. these things. Are you ready for the wilderness? Ye, uko tayari kwa ajili ya jangwa. Are you ready to to you are living to survive, not to, to buy a car? Kabisa. Car. <laughs> Ai 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 ai. You are living to survive my friend. Because you you have constant battles. Maana wewe una vita za mwendelezo. I'm not here to scare you. It is Siku a reality. Ni walisia. John the Baptist, the greatest man in the world. Mtu mkuu duniani. Alikuwa ataishi nyumbani. The Bible says ni sauti ya mtu anayelia nyikani. Alikuwa anaishi nyikani, porini. Was living in the wilderness, in the forest. The greatest man to ever be born by a woman mtu mkuu kuzaliwa na mwanamke alikuwa ana hata kibubu chukusema basi ana akiba wani wewe you, you don't understand these things wewe uelewi vipi there are two ways to this coin sarafu pande mbili, ina pande mbili the corporate world and the other one ulimwengu wa biashara na mwingine be careful kwa makini because some of you are about to divorce your callings tonight kwa sababu baadhi yenu mnakwenda kuacha wito wenu usiku wa leo. There is no glory there. Hakuna utukufu. In this thing that we are doing there is no glory. Kwenye kitu tunafanya hakuna utukufu. It is constant battles week Nivita. after week after week. Wiki baada ya wiki baada ya wiki. It is constant prayers and devotion. It is when Ibada. you are married and your husband or your wife says but sometimes I don't understand you. You Lakini change. Wakati mwingine sikuelewi, unabadilika. It is when God wants you for himself. Ni pale ambapo Mungu anakutaka kwa ajili yake mwenyewe. It is when you are separated. Ni pale ambapo unatengwa. Unatengwa. If you relax what about the corporate ones what shall they do? Okay relax vipi wa wale ambao katika ulimwengu wa biashara watafanya? You are here to cover your family. Uko hapa As your family is getting married. Vile family yako inaoa na kuelewa. As your family are dra- buying cars. Vile ambavyo family yako. Your family members are taking the you are Azukaka. You be there. You Wake are out. John the Baptist. Wewe ni Yohana Baptist. A voice that is crying in the Sauti wilderness. Ya mtu As Israel is enjoying bila mbavyo Israeli wanafurahia that there is no more false gods kwamba hakuna miungu mingine ya gods and the prophets of Baal have been taken down miungu na manabii wa Baal wameanguka Israel is now prospering Israeli inafanikiwa the bondage of Baal is broken kifungo cha Baal kidogo the man that broke the bondage is running from the comfort of the blessing mtu aliyevuta hiyo miungu anakimbia anawaachia wengine wana enjoy is living at the mafanikio wingu la giza la bali limeachilia anga watu wameanza kubarikiwa watu wameanza kuinuka maisha yameanza kubadilika the one that took down the altars is running aliangusha madhabahu wanakimbia i 
thought he is the one ambaye anatakiwa apewe thawabu kubwa zaidi anatakiwa ndio awe na nyumba kubwa zaidi kwenye mji he is the one that is running yeye ndio anakimbia while people are enjoying wakati watu wana prayer prayers maombi yake the fruits of his prayers Matunda are working yanafanya kazi but is running lakini anakimbia tanjoni basilima gokea jirani yako mwambie jirani we celebrate john for baptizing jesus tunamfurahia yohana kwa kumbatiza yesu but remember he was beheaded lakini kumbuka alichinjwa you wewe will never be beheaded hautochinjwa you know that right unajua hilo sio but the greatest man was cut off his head by a child lakini mtu mkuu alikatwa kichwa chake salome danced salome alicheza the king herod said what do you want falme akasema unataka nini the mother said bring the head of john the baptist mama akasema leta kichwa cha yohana mbatizaji yet jesus is on around na bado yesu yuko the man that prophesied that there is one coming greater than i mtu aliyetabiri kwamba yuko ajaye ama ni mkuu kuliko mimi he is the one that is carrying the 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 The, the what do they call it the destiny of humanity ni yeye anabeba hatma ya the savior of the world the man that saw jesus before jesus came o, o, manifested in the world he said Mtu. there is somebody coming alisema kuna namna kuja a man that baptized jesus baptized Mtu. jesus Mtu. closed his eyes and Yesu nose alifumba macho yake na pua yake and he was dipped in the waters by this man akazamishwa kwa maji na mnyu died without even a shoe huyo mtu alikufa bila hata kiatu there is no glory here Hakuna utukufu. Look at your neighbor, see neighbor. Your case one has no glory there. Hii haina utukufu. Mara. Mara. You better stop praying God give me what the prophet has. It's dangerous. It will kill you before your time. Ni bora kaacha kuomba. Nipe alichonacho nabii. I never pray God. Me I only say God. Nilisema tu Mungu. What I want from my father. Nachotaka kutoka kwa babangu. I I mention it I want this one and this one and that one. I don't want this one. Nilisema nataka hiki na hiki na hiki. Because if I say give me everything. Nikisema nipe kila kitu. Tomorrow. Kesho. My marriage will be in trouble. Ndoa yangu itakuwa kwenye shida. Because his battles are heavy. Kwa sababu vita zake ni nzito. I don't want that. Stuck here. Kuna upande na ukataa. There is a Though is my father. Ijapokuwa ni baba. I put my list close. Naweka orodha nzuri. Wazi mkwa. God do not get confused. Mungu usije ukachanganya vitu. Don't act like you did not hear me. I wrote it kwa. down. Niliandika chini. You, you give me what the prophet has. Do you Nipe know what? Oh unajua na nini? How did I get it? Nile kipata vipi? The process do, can you endure? Mchakato unaweza kuvumilia. I was telling my wife the other day how people walikuwa wanasomea Albadil Jumatano mchana 25 men floated in the sky watu 25 walikuwa wanaelea angani they have the the the, the vitabu vyao and Albadil inasomwa Albadil do you know Albadil wangapi wanajua Albadil ya Kiislam that one does not miss hiyo haikosi and especially when there are 25 people it does not miss zaidi sana wakati watu 25 haikosi hiyo Ujawahi kusomewa hata dua hmm? There is no glory here Hakuna utukufu hapa There is pain and sweat ask Jesus Kuna maumivu na jasho muulize Yesu There is the cross Kuna msalaba There is the shame of walking naked Kuna aibu ya kutembea uchi There is the whips Kuna mijeledi Do you know mjeledi when you hit ukipigwa mjeledi unanata kwenye ngozi it has these hooks then ndo anavuta it comes out with your skin inatoka na ngozi yako that part you don't want upande huo hautaki you want the glory unataka utukufu there is no glory here hakuna utukufu hapa elijah elia is the one that amepiga the principality of the land is the one that took down the principality and that man ulo. instead of him now saying jesus will reward me baada kusema Mungu nipe thawabu. Now anga limefunguka the, the sky is open. Anga limefunguka. Blessings are falling from heaven. Baraka zinaanguka toka mbinguni. Let me also mingu. have my big portion. Na mimi nipate no, 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 no. sehemu yangu. The next kubu. day. Jezebel says. Jezebel anasema. The gods do me what you have done. Miungu wanitendee ulichokifanya. Anyway I find you you are a dead man. Popote nitakapokukuta. The man starts ra- another battle. Vita nyingine. Battle, battle, vita, vita baada ya vita, baada ya vita. Ah you are about to divorce your colleague. Unakaribia kuachana na wito wako. 
Let's continue, son. And let's hear a man that I'm a fungwa angal at la la wapi la Tanzania. I mean the yeah. Let's continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Power, power, power. Let killer, killer, roho ilosh kilia kimara. How about you just say God bless the works of my hands? Vipo kumambia mungu bariki kazi za mikono yangu. Simple. Raisi. Unapiga na chuma ulete tu. A very small battle. Vita ndogo sa. Ina kutosha yuo. That is enough for you. Principalities. Wakua anga. What what for? Gabriel mwenye aliwakimbia akamwacha maiko. Are you are you sure because they will block every door man watazuia kila mlango they will fight you till you are entering the grave watapambana na wewe when you are in the grave they will fight you and you, you are putting a day if you are not called for this thing kama yaito kwa jele vitu kimbia go and sell air time nenda kauze vocha it is because you are putting your children in danger man unawaweka watoto wako kwenye hatari they will come for your children watakuja kwa ajili ya watoto come for your marriage they will come for everything around watakuja kwa ajili ya kila kitu you have the ability to cover people je una uwezo wa kuwafunika watu don't try this thing usijaribu hivi you feel like unajisikia you are called by god umeitwa na mungu you feel like unajisikia you are called by god kama umeitwa na Mungu. You feel like you're called by God. Unajisikia kama umeitwa na Mungu? Demons don't feel like you're called by God. They will come. Watakuja. This other dimension this one will cost your life. Kiwango hichi kingine cost your future. Garimu. Maisha it will cost your children itagarimu watoto wako their lives will be in danger forever maisha yao yatakuwa tayari they for will hold a grudge shetani even when you are, jesus amekuja ame, oh you you died you went to heaven you left children they are, they are children your children's children watoto watoto they are wako. marked wamewekwa alama since there was you that came out of this family toka kumekuwa na wewe ambao ulitoka Lucifer now knows that this family it is a family mda wote anaweza kainuka mwingine Lucifer anajua and it is a marked family ni familia iliyowekwa alama so f- hey, look at your neighbor say neighbor mwangalie jirani yako mwingine don't try this thing ujaribu vitu you are putting innocent people in danger unaweka watu wasio na hatia kwenye hatari oh mimi naona mimi nasikia i see I hear. Zoko doko 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 doko. Now na gaba. I see. Machine gun tongues. <laughs> When you're doing that. Okay, ona fanya hivyo. Be sure. Kwa na uhakika. To remain in that state forever. Kwamba utabaki kwenye hiyo hali milele. Kwa na uhakika. Be in the atmosphere. Utakuwa katika ile anga. Even when you are not in charge. Hata be pale. Sure. Kwa na uhakika. To leave all your mchepukos. Be sure. Kuacha michepuko yako yote. Kwa na uhakika. Be sure. Ni bora uwe na uhakika. You have you have dedicated you are a priest unto the Lord. Wewe ni kuhani kwa Bwana. <laughs> you better be sure. Ni bora uwe na uhakika. One mistake. Kosa moja. You are going to the grave. Unaenda kaburini. imeonekana kama fashion kwenye kizaziki ministry is like a fashion in this generation you want to be like bishop sonso pastor sonso why because kwa nini after few years they are driving big cars baada ya miaka michache wanaendesha magari makubwa okay men that are in it want to come out of it watu ambao wako kwenye hiyo kitu wanataka kutoka I told I always tell you my my me if I had a chance Mimi ningekuwa na nafasi God said there is a Mungu aseme a blue pill and a red pill here Kuna kidonge red cha blue is hot fire cha kundu ni moto prophet this one Nabi demons and angels running with you Malaika na mapepo kimbe is prosperity I would have gone for mafaniki ningeenda kwa jiji Swear is hearing Ananisikia ningeenda kwa blue I want blue naitaka Miami sun Nelewa. Me I want to fly in private jets. Not thinking 
Every time kwamba kuna kiumbe ananiangalia. Do you know how I live? Unajua ninavyoishi. Do you know how I live? Unajua ninavyoishi. Do you want do you know how I live? Do you unajua ninavyoishi. Yeah, the day nilikuwa nimekasa blend my daughter was jumping jumping mama hapa she was preparing food I saw a huge snake. Nikona looking at me just randomly hivi. Linaniangalia tu like that. A creature amekaa kwenye kona yake watching somewhere in this world. Mali fulani kwenye. Anani check hivi. He's watching me like this. Then I asked the angel I said what? Nikamuliza malaika. Then he says you killed the queen. Ah, so this is the king. Condom falme. Eh. Hey. Said okay. So now I have a new enemy. Kona do impia. Just waiting one day. Ana subiria to so much to get a chance. Always living watching your back. Who is watching every time? Kila wakati. Who is looking? Who is what is happening? Nini kinatokea? You live you, you don't know. You don't know the stress. You don't know the pain. You don't Aujui know. Aujui maumivu. Aujui this stress. In the middle of the night usiku mama you feel like somebody is watching you unaona kabisa kwamba kuna mtu anakuangalia you are exposed umefunuliwa then you start thinking what about my mother is she safe in the kuwaza. middle when when watu wana wamelala people are sleeping wewe unaanza kuwaza ndugu zako familia is i feel like naona kama there is kuna they are, they are organizing something wana, all that tengeneza kitu wakati under radar uko chini ya uangalizi you are living a life of something might happen anytime unaishi maisha kwamba kuna kitu kitatokea wakati wote it is not a peaceful life like you think sio maisha ya amani kama unavyodhani i swear to god it's not a peaceful life sio maisha ya amani randomly tu unaweza uka ukaambiwa tough like a beetle go and pray ingia kwenye maombi and go and pray sio kama tafuta chumba omba begin to pray anza kuomba where you are where you pray ipo, omba Whether upo na watu whether you are with people you are alone you better save some prayers ni bora uachile maombi they are attacking your family wanashambulia family yako so imagine sasa hayo maisha kwa as a human being lazima kuna siku unakuwa tu hao unapungua ni mwanadamu hmm. but kupungua yani the way you never ruka sarakasi za wokovu aish some of us bad yetu nikimsonya tu mtu it is a problem i will not rest the whole day sitopumzika siku nzima and ach how did this slip out of my mouth imetokaje kijoni mwangu because now mana enemy was eh adui atasema hii hapa hauna upendo wewe you don't have love no nimekasirika kwa nini umekasirika asira weka asira mbali you are a prophet when nabi put away anger I'm living you really don't know even unaelewa maisha unaishi ambayo you wish you can hear you cannot understand child of god hata nikijaribu kueleza even if i try to maisha flani ya ajabu sana it's a very funny life i don't know about other men of god but where i come from me lakini ninakotoka mimi i live a very funny life naishi maisha ya ajabu sana i can just keep quiet like this naweza tu nikakaa kimi tukot na cheka 1 minute 1 minute i'm quiet Sicheke sana. Unacheka. You can be attacked. I have we, we have many enemies. Madu, When you are done with the 400 uh, prophets of Baal. Ukimalizana na manabii After Jezebel there is Ahab. Baada ya Jezebel kuna Ahab. Because when you kill Jezebel the husband is now your problem and the husband is a king of the land. Na mume ndio mfalme wa your earth. Umebanwa kwenye kona ni mchinje au ni mwache. Maana nikimchinja nchi nzima taifa linanikimbiza. Now I have a bigger enemy. So every every next battle is bigger. Kwa kila vita inayokuja ni kubwa. Because what about that me Because listen, what do you think me I'm casting out or dealing with your ancestral spirits me I'm not thinking is you are they are too small that one There is a whole government kuna serikali nzima that sits down ambayo inakachi to discuss kujadili how are we silencing this boy tunamnyamazisha vipi huyu kijana Alafu basi nini lata la msingi hatuna hata some mega church ana Lucifer anakuambia exactly hivyo hivyo 
like that yani hivyo hivyo ambavyo huna mega church ndio ubaki hivyo hivyo i don't want you to get there taka fiko kwa sababu wewe unaweza kadha lakini prophet anakuwa na mavita ya ajabu kwa ajili ni there is somewhere they don't want me to get they don't want me to reach they are afraid kwa bora waanze nao they better begin so imagine now i'm fighting a battle ya mimi kutokufika of me not to get hiyo battle haiwezi kaisha leo la kesho because every day is a next step to my destiny kwa sababu kila siku ni hatua nyingine kuelekea kwenye hatima yangu si menela lakini wewe ukiwa kwenye corporate wewe unapigana tu na 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 yani nyinyi mnashindana mfanyakazi bora wa mwezi ndio bato yako au mofsi no tanela kuna ile mf- the best employee employer or employee employee of the what of the month ndio vita mume wangu hivi mume wangu kweli nitapata mume wangu ume, unashikesha na mume wako mna discuss cuz my daughter continue like that binti yangu endelee blessed are you umebarikiwa wewe there is at least a reward at the end of the month kuna angalau thawabu mwisho wa mwezi continue son let's finish tshio go pressure son mstari wa 4 yeah. lakini yeye mwenyewe akaendelea katika jangwa wa mwendo wa siku moja aha akaenda akaketi chini ya mretemu yes akajiombea roho yake angalia ape. sasa men m- m- what were he is is uku angels and dim- men that are fully engaging with spirits watu ambao wanakutana na roho kitukufu but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat under a broom uh, tree and he prayed that he might Minister you cannot pray that you may die akati kuna dili la milioni 200 unalikimbizia you can't awezi Son unaona hela hii hapa You see money ni money kwamba tu yani haijasainiwa haija It's just that it is Una unaombaje kufa How do you Yaani eti unakuja hapo unaambia prophet nataka kufa dili aliend I will slap your face Dili aliend ila hela unaiona hii hela nje nje prophet anyone to die na unataka kufa hivyo wewe mwana Mungu unaweza kaomba ufe eh unaweza kaomba ufe akati unamlilia una Mungu akupandishia mshahara umeshaumaliza hadi ushaupanga kama nikiingi yani nikipandishwa mshahara tu fungu la 10 ina kesa tena kwenye beshi umesha yani umshara nyo shaisha in your brain sisi hatujui hata kama kuna mshahara unakuja we don't have hatuna hata mshahara these ones these ones they pray to die hao wanaomba kufa these ones they are not praying god mshahara wangu utavotoka nitambariki babangu these ones they don't have this one Hawa, this one is hizi. kill me Ini, i'm not uwe. better than my father mimi sio bora kuliko baba zangu Look at your neighbor saying about this one people are praying to die. Hii watu wanaomba kufa. If you have never prayed to die, you are kufa. not yet qualified. Wewe hey. unavyojipenda. Hey. Hey. The way you love yourself. Mimi nataka mara angels and demons where how when. Wapi kivipi? Lini? men that are in those dimension huyu ni Elijah child of god huyu jamaa alikuwa akisimama amesema moto wewe unasema moto uoni hujui umeenda kushoto moto wako siku nyingine hata unaendaga kunyuma baada ya kwenda mbele moto <laughs> Elijah is saying fire and it is coming from heaven Elia anaita moto na unatoka Son, not spiritually sio kiro physically kwa namna ya kimwili physically Aliua watu Alafu Biblia inasema malaika an angel of the Lord appeared Malaika wa Bwana akamwambia These men that are coming next Watu hao wanaofuata Do not kill them go with them Usiwaue nenda nao An angel is appearing to him Malaika anamtokea Physically Kwa namna hiyo mwili naambia mzee God has sent me Mungu ameniletea Usiwaue Don't kill these Tumejua vya kutosha Hawa nenda nao sasa These ones go with them Okay sir Eh twendeni And wewe unatamani Mungu wa Elia. Wewe Mungu nipe viwango vya Elia. Elijah is praying to die. The Elia. man that is in that die, in the mara whereby fire is wewe you are praying for fire. Wewe unaomba kwa ajili ya moto. Elijah 
alikuwa anaishi kwenye mara kiasi kwamba fire hadi ile tuneno moto unatokea hapo it appears physically do you understand hivyo viwango vilivyokuwa vya hatari yes amana ambayo malaika anamuomba naomba usiwaue hao hao anaenda nao this one's go with them okay so okay so atende atende malaika anarudi mbinguni sasa hiyo jamaa huyo sikai kwa angelelea huyo jamaa nisingemtokea okay and now this guy kaua kaua watu 400 he killed 400 crazy a prophets of of doom manabii false wawo. prophets manabii wawo. manabii ambao walikuwa wanatishia nchi 400 wamekufa siku moja kwa neno lake his word killed all of them aliwaua wote men celebrate israel ikapiga makofi ikasema you are a prophet you are general elijah well, the, general. the tishbite the next day Imagine you, you are meeting your general on the streets and akimbia. Sir, what is happening, Jezebel? Amefika sem. Akachoka, he got tired of that life. Akachoka my. Sina nyumba. I don't have a house. Sina gari. I don't have a car. Sina sina hata funguo. I do not have even a key. Nipo kama nilivyo. I am the way I am. Yaani ukinibeba hivyo umembeba Elijah. Maisha yangu umeyabeba. See you said God used me. So me say mungu nitumie unavyotaka. I am I, it is not about riches it is about you. I will send utajiri ni wewe. When you are looking for a prophet I am here. Ukitafuta nabii niko hapa. Those are dangerous words. Hayo ni maneno ya hatari. So now kwa sasa Elijah akafika muda Biblia anasema akakaa he sat down Akaka. and he say, he prayed Akaoma. Elijah mwana wa Mungu hakuna viwango mwanadamu wa mlokole anavitafuta kama vile Elia ndo alikuwa na viwango vya juu kuliko wote Mweke Yesu pembeni which is obviously but Elijah is the is the general you are talking about Elijah my friend Prophecy was his lifestyle huyo jamaa akufa alichukuliwa na akaenda mbinguni physically na mwili wake with his body Elijah yuko mbinguni na mwili wake Elijah is in heaven right with his body sahihi we, watu wengine wote huko wanaokotwa kotwa yeye yuko physically na mwili wake Hivi unaelewa kuna mtu yuko afu huyo jamaa huyo jamaa huyo kwenye mavi, ma, 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 ma viwango hayo ya mara mara was so strong in his life that even death Ah, it disappear. Yaani Mungu anasema kifo kifo hakiwezi kumuua huyu jamaa. Yaani kifo cannot manifest. His kifo hakiwezi kudhihirika. Ni mkubwa sana. M- 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 his mara reversed. Mara yake. Let the was... physical come into the spiritual. Mm. Sisi tunataka the spiritual ije physical. God said let the Mungu physical come into budini. the supernatural. Ije. Mletene huyu jamaa. Bring this. Mara one. reversed. Backfired. Mara backfired. <laughs> But today is a day. Lakini kuna siku. Nisome sana. Akajiombea roho yake afe, akasema. Sana tuliza tuliza taratibu. Anza juu kidogo kidogo. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akaendelea katika jangwa mwendo wa siku moja. Akaenda akaketi chini ya mretemu. Akajiombea roho yake afe, akasema. Ya tosha sasa. Yeah. E bwana. E bwana. Uiondoe roho yangu. Uiondoe roho yangu kwa kuwa mimi uh-huh. si mwema kuliko baba zangu. I am not better than my fathers. Kill me now. I thought those were the same fathers who were saying God of my fathers. Nilidhani hao ndio baba wale wale walosema my fathers walk with me. Ulivyo tembea baba zangu. No no no. That was a wrong prayer. Lile ombi lilikuwa si sahihi. There is a day said no 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 kuna something is not making kuna sense. kitu akileti maana it's too much hii imepitiliza sipumui sili raha nimeshakuwa mzee maisha yangu tangia kijana nafukuza mapepo mahaba <laughs> let imagine mimi mpaka nizeke nitakuwa mtu wa namna gani many of us kwa lazima uchoke mwana wa Mungu ni lazima uchoke it is a must inachosha kujua kwamba muda yani unawindwa 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 alafu sasa kuindwa kwenyewe sio kwamba 
ni kitu ambacho ki unawaona hawa hapa you see them these ones wanatokea hivi wanakutokea si umesema angels and demons mara utawaona you will see them yani utawaona malaika mwana Mungu mpaka itafika point utaki kuwaona tena you'll see mtu anaweza kadhana na danganya it gets to a point where you want to live a normal life inafika mali unataka kuishi maisha kawaida kwa sababu ukiwaachia yani watakuwa yani wao hawatokumbuka kama wanatakiwa utafute hela they are spirits wao ni roho wakati wao naamka asubuhi nalikuta dude limesimama pale leo natakiwa ufunge saa mane natakiwa kuna maombi natakiwa ni kuelekeze kuna watu ambao wameshikiliwa kwenye mbingu ya pili maombi yao hayapenyi unatakiwa uombe you're supposed to pray how long until god says it is done paka mungu aseme imekuwa trust me hana haraka yule mzee kule is not in a hurry yani mimi kauli ambayo sipendaki kusikia kwa malaika ni hiyo paka mpa, yule mzee he is not in a rush hana haraka utapiga siku ya kwanza Ma, unaambia bado piga tena siku ya pili kwambia umeanza anza alafu kumbuka unaombea watu ambao hawakujui hawatokuja kujua hawana muda na wewe hawajui hata wao wenyewe maombi yao yamezuiliwa they don't know even their prayers there is no glory here hakuna utukufu hapa kwamba utapigiwa makofu say prophet thank you you bless my life you ulinifungulia ganga you will never meet them hautokutana nao fanya wewe manenda mbele huko wewe you are prophet Si umesema use me Mungu sasa ndo anakutu. Yaani wewe ni wakala wa mbingu. <laughs> Lift up your hand and say Jesus touch me tonight. Bwana Yesu niguse jioni leo. Mm. How many people are ready? Me I'm still me na bado na nusu saa. If you allow me we'll go deeper. Kidogo. Okay. Take the stage and take the ground. Alafu sasa wewe wakati unasema mbona vitu vyangu havitokee Mungu anasema mbona wewe ni asha? Mbona kila wiki naona unafanya vitu? Mbona unanichanganya una mtu? You are confusing me myself. Yeah, I every week kila week na kuona unaboosh. What what you are doing for me? I Unachofanya kwa ajili yangu ninaona. The problem with us that's the letter ni kwa. Yaani umeshinua kuelewa. Yaani sisi na yeye anavoaza ni vitu vile tofauti. What he thinks and what we think are two different things. Yaani unaona hapa You see here. Yani hapa yeye ndo anaona you are walking with your destiny. Ndo anaona unatembea kwenye hatima yako. Hiyo mingine wote ya ziada. All those others. Ambao sasa hivi kwa ziada wewe ndo unavionaga ndo your destiny sasa. <laughs> yani kwa maisha ni mwangu sitojenga hata nyumba moja. Yeye mwanzako hata alanga mtoto wangu nyumba ya nini mbona Elia kwa hata na nyumba. <laughs> Umeona it doesn't make sense kwako. Kwa 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 ina, ina, ina make v- a lot of sense. Mm. Sababu yeye ana mifano mingi sana. Hata kwambia Musa alikufa jangwani, Musa alikufa jangwani, Musa alikufa jangwani, Musa. Moses, Moses walked alitembea jangwani, akafa jangwani and he died in the desert. hata kitu. Ameacha jangwa. Walk in your purpose. Tembea kwa Mungu Asha Asha. Wewe ni shemasi. You said Fanyo use shemasi. me Lord. Ulisema nitumie Bwana. I am using you now. Nakutumia sasa. Oh you meant corporate. <laughs> Au limanisha biashara. Careful with the way you pray. Careful kwa with the way you pray. Kwa kwa be careful. careful unajifunga kwa sababu maneno yako you are ni ma- because una- your words. Your maneno yanaweza kukua, maneno yanaweza kuku, yakakupa uhai. You have bound yourself so many times. Umejifunga sana mwenyewe mara nyingi. Akamwambia akasema weka weka let's finish because of time watu wameanza kusinzia wametoka makazini please. Eh? Uh-huh. Akamwambia aka and he prayed that he may die and said it is enough. Now Lord take my life for I am no better than my fathers. Eh? Uh-huh. Tuendele minister. Akati Nine. wakati bado anaomba hivyo na bado yupo kwenye stress zake na bado yupo kwenye matati. Mtu yuko emotional, mtu amechoka, amekata tamaa, anahitaji kufarijiwa, anahitaji kukumbatiwe. Angalia andiko linalofuata. 
Then as he lay and slept under the broom tree, suddenly an angel touched him and said, Arise, eat. Naye akajinyosha akalala chini. Mara inaendelea pale pale. Malaika akamtokea. Si mara. Angels and demons, angels are appearing. Malaika yani wakati wewe upo emotion. Jamani. Yaani. Ni mfetu. Malaika anamtokea anasema, "Oya, inuka. Fanya haraka. Prayer." Akamwambiaje, "Minis, an angel appear. Ajaongelea ilo tukio. Akati ilo tukio ni muhimu kwenye maisha ya mwanadamu. Ukifika ume ina maisha Elijah alikata tamaa Elijah came malaika halikuja kama hawajambingwa haijasikia angels came as if heaven has said nothing aluta continua mapambano yanaendelea let us continue you cannot escape this thing awezo kukwepa hiki it doesn't work like that ayendi namna hiyo tuendelee na hiki tu akamwambiaje minister naye akajinyosha akalala chini ya mretemu na tazama malaika akamtokea akamgusa akamwambia eh inuka ule akatazama kumbe pana mkate umeokwa juu ya makaa Aha. na gudulia la maji kichwani pake mm -hmm. akala akanywa akajinyosha tena A, afe tena eh tuendele malaika wa bwana akamwendea mara ya pili Ndiyo. akamgusa akasema A. inuka ule maana safari hii ni kubwa mno kwa yani saa unadhani you are resting ngoja nikwambie ndio tunaanza safari ndefu you better eat ni bora ule elijah eat Elia kula. Eat. Kula. For the journey ahead is long. Maana safari mbele yako ni ndefu. Umemaliza. Kama ulidhani you are starting a new battle. Tunaanza vita. 40 days. Siku 40 nights await for you. You are not going to eat sir. Autokula tena. Fasting. This nonsense of you crying has to die. Oh buzi wa wewe kulialia kwenye mfungo god forced him into his emotions who is he saying hey, sir you are crying unalia there is minister let's continue let's continue let's continue brighton you are in this thing my son this thing it is done this one go and tell your entire family that you are a pro unto the lord a prophet when in a be unto the lord you are no longer your mother's son when is some total mama got it you better go and tell home that you are you are <coughs> let's continue please akainuka akala akanywa akaenda katika nguvu za chakula hicho siku 40 mchana na usiku hata akafika horebu mlima wa mungu aha siku ngapi Arubaini. Eh rudi 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 kule kuna mtu hajaona hapo. Eh? Mstari wa nane. Akainuka akala akanywa. Mm -hmm. Akaenda katika nguvu za chakula hicho siku arobaini mchana na usiku. Akula tena for 40 days 40 nights. What was God trying to do? He was killing his emotions. Alikuwa Mungu anaua hisia. Mungu prophet is troubled. Kwa maana bibi wangu ana amepata. Malaika anaenda mpe mkate afu much. I want him to fast for 40 days 40 nights. Nataka afunge siku arobaini usiku na mchana. Yaani maybe do you understand kwamba sa kwamba there is no there is no break. There is no I'm not kupumzika. Tena ukione, ukionekana unataka kukata tamando anakupa vidonge vizito. If you naelewa zile 40 days 40 nights zilikuwa zina yuko emotional kiasi gani. Mpaka akafika point akaona tu acha tuniishi. Mungu akamwangalia Elia, Elia unaomba ufe sasa prophet David Richard ataomba nini? Eh? Agaona how we are going to kill this thing. Tutaua hiki. We we need to kill this thing. This, this new character of yours we Ita don't know it in heaven. Atujui huko mbinguni. Enjo. Malaika. I need him to fast for 40 days for tonight. Funge siku 40 usiku na mchana. Malaika akamwambia sasa kula. Eat. Yule mzee kule hajasikia chochote ulichoongea hapo. He doesn't understand what you're saying. Aile unachongea kula maana safari ina ya, ni ndefu because the journey Bible ikasemaje miaka em nisomee hapo siku ngapi mstari wa so he he Mstari arose wa and ate and drank mm -hmm. and he went in the strength of that food 40 days 40 nights as far as Horeb the mountain of God mara ikaendelea pale and, pale and mara continued Right. Neighbor, neighbor, there is no glory here. Hakuna utukufu hapa. 
this one no one will celebrate you hii hakuna atakaye kufurahia wow eh, dada wanaita mwanamke wa nini what is this thing what they call mwanamke wa nini this thing ah uh-uh. ah malki ya nguvu this thing you will not be <laughs> how kivipi you pray in tongues unanena kwa lugha you can't hawezi waachia wa corporate leave it to your sisters waachia wana muda wa kutengeneza sare za nguo you go and go on go and pray yani wao muda ambao eti unatengeneza sare ya nguo uende kwenye malki ya nguvu the devil is winning ground he is coming closer god cannot allow mungu aweza karuhusu hiyo no man akwambia some of you will never get married i'm but sorry to tell you this, but it's but the the truth end. because it will be a destruction kwa sababu itakuwa destruction you ask you ask you are set apart umetengwa wewe you are no longer your own wewe we sio wako tena this second dimension hichi kiwango cha no one will clap hands and celebrate you hakuna atakaye kupigia makofi na kufurahia this one people will leave you hii watu watakuacha they will call you crazy watakuita cheese you left what to be with jesus you are stupid you wewe ni mjinga wewe unajui unachofanya you don't know what you do hii they will not celebrate you hawatakufurahia this one is painful hii ina maumivu this one has no is you you're not a celebrity hii wewe sio mtu maarufu It's life and death. He ni uzima you, be, you, you, you show weakness you die. Ukionyesha udhaifu unakwenda. Na ukifa and when you die all that you have been doing goes in vain. Yote ambavyo umefanya vinaenda bure. Which one are you? Wewe ni yupi? Minister una stress una nyumba umelala chini ya mti malaika anakupa kitu cha kula physical an angel if, angel if you can give me physical food food, food kama unaweza kanipa chakula nikao malaika katoka na chakula mbinguni kamletea kula saa eat give me money can you see spesa ni, ni sabuni ya roho don't you understand eh? Umenela hii hii unatembea afu ogopa sana hii unatoka pale unasema malaika amenitokea watu wakikuangalia na unachosema <laughs> when people look at you and what you are saying ah, watakwambia sasa kama amekutokea kaka mbona hujamwambia kwamba una matatizo mbona <laughs> hujao oh, oh. eh? <laughs> yani umeshindwa kabisa afu tena kuna mtu anakushauri yani next time <laughs> safari jayo make sure unamwambia shida zako elijah i don't know kama unanielewa no is caring what i'm saying it is it is it is a lonely journey ni safari yenye upweke mwingi sana that's why they always tell you prophets are lonely ndio maana wanakuambia kwamba manabii ni viumbe wapweke lonely people watu wapweke sana not a lie sio uongo there is a part of you that it is already dead kuna sehemu yako ambayo imekufa And when I look at many of your faces you are not ready for these things. Nikiangalia sura zenu wengi amko tayari kwa ajili ya vitu. Nataka kupendwa. You want to be loved. Kuna watu wananiacha mimi kwa sababu siongei nao au sija. Yaani mtu anataka nimpende. People want me to love them. Yaani unajua ni eh la bela katili ya barakate. Zugate. Mimi machungu nilionayo mengi. <laughs> <laughs> yani eti mtu anataka ni you know give me attention bro. I can't sorry yangu ni mengi ananichosha mine a lot and because you don't understand na kwa sababu hauelewi ni lazima ikusumbue it must disturb you it's not personal my sons and daughters viewers all over the world what does imagine i swear to god it's not per- i wish ningekuwa naweza tanga kubeba mgongo i just can't siwezi mi mwenyewe nafika muda stack kuongea na mtu yote yani yani hata nikisikia sauti yako sipai please leave me 
I swear to God, Mungu ananisikia. Yaani nimefika point ro sioni yana kwa yana what is all this for because my battles are many every day every day Mana there is something in you there is no rest kuna jipya hakuna pumziko then you know that ni kwamba it's resting it's not resting responsibilities are many yani kila Mungu anachukua God is taking more of me every day Mungu anachukua vingi kutoka kwangu kila siku He's taking something from me every day anachukua kitu kutoka kwangu kila siku You are like a machine for him. Unakuwa kama machine. Unakuwa kama machine. Unakuwa kama machine. You are an agent. Yani mimi mwana mwumini wakala. I am an agent of heaven. Duniani. Mini wakala. Yani natumika. Mungu wa a servant of the... Unashia sika kaya nima mtumishi. Sometimes I get your revelation. Nimejaribu sana kuyua you in my life. Nyo mwana. But he keeps pulling me back to being a servant. Narudishwa kwa kwa mtumishi. He really likes that thing. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor which one are you? Mwangalie jirani yako mwambie jirani wewe ni kipi kati hivyo vile? Utamuona tu, utamuona tu. Yaani utaona uswa. Ukiona ana anatabasama hakupi jibu jue this one namba 2 imekaa vizuri. Yaani anajiona kabisa ila ana hey Amesemaje? Katabasam. Katabasam. Ah, of course. Malaika nakutokea muombe basi hata kodi. Una mtu anakuambia, "Ai nime yaani mizimu nimeipiga." Jana. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi tunaenda kubarikiwa. Mtu anaanza kupata kigumi. Um, um, ah, ilo swali ni nzuri sana. <laughs> ah, ah saa umsi umepiga mizimu inamaanisha tuna tumeachiliwa, tunabarikiwa. Jibu swa yes or no. Don't give me ministry, give me you. Don't give me money, give me you. Kuna kauli ulizitamka kwa, kwa kiumbe mwingine zinakusa. Yaani una kuficha. Ndio nimepiga mizimu. Kikweli kabisa. Na imeanguka. And they are falling. Kuna kifungo kingine. But there is another bondage. Bound as a servant of the Lord. Let's stand up for one minute. Hebu tusimame kwa dakika moja. Before I continue. Kabla sijaendelea. Or should we do some other day I don't know. Because I have much to tell you. Hapo ndo kwanza nilikuwa naanza lift up your hands. Ino meko na kujiu. I did not even touch on the demon side. Sikugusa to pesho au mapepo. And you know the angelic side. That is just general knowledge but lift up your hands. Lakini ino meko na kujiu. Begin to pray. Na uanze kuomba. I don't know what you're going to pray for. Sijui utaomba kwa ajili ya nini. I wish I knew what to you should, you, you should pray for. Natamani ningelijua uombe nini. But please lakini tafadhali kama unaweza ukaomba minister how can your viewer pray with us viewers all over the world those who are connecting wherever you are you've been along with us open up your mouth wherever you are and begin to pray begin to pray make sure that you're praying some of you you already know what side you fall in begin to pray Make sure you're praying. Those who are here, make sure you're praying. Make sure you're praying. Hosanna, Bukoni. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hosanna, Bukoni. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hosanna yobodi Hallelujah Hosanna Hosanna yobodi Hallelujah Hosanna Hosanna yobodi 
Somebody pray that prayer. I think that's the best prayer. Father, me, me, kwanguvu zangu siwezi. Baba, by myself, I cannot do it. Strengthen me. Nitengu. Somebody pray. Mtu mmoja umba. Viewers all over the world begin to pray. Spirit of God, empower me. Strengthen me, Father. Uzana. Tomorrow we are doing our fasting. Kesho tutakuwa live wale utakuwa nyumbani but you can watch us live so mambo ni mengi wiki. I don't want to take your time. One Stay minute. Kuda, kuda, kuda. I don't know where upo kwenye category. Yapo makundi there are two categories. Don't get out of emotions. It is the reality of this thing. Ndio halisia huwa kitu. Jitafute hapo afu omba. Ndio tunapomaliza. Pray. You know yourself. Unajifahamu mwenyewe. 
Yaani una jibu lako mwenye. So pray please. You have your own answer please for your own. Oh. Please pray. Please pray. My daughter pray. Just pray for two minutes. Binti yangu omba kwa dakika mbili. And we leave. Minister of God, viewers all over the world. Viewers all over the world. It's a moment for you to pray. Which one are you of the two groups? Find yourself there and begin to pray. If you are in business, pray. If you are on the other side, you are called by God, sent by God. You are set apart by God. For his work. Are you in the corporate world? You will serve God with your finances. Or you are like us. Ama wewe ni kama sisi. Intercessors. Waombaji. Or in the corporate world. Ama katika ulimwengu wa ishara. Unavyojiombea ni kama vile ujipendi. The way you are praying for yourself is as if you don't like yourself. I don't know which group you are in. Sijui upo kundi gani. You know. Wewe unafahamu. Jesus knows. Yes unajua. But I declare upon your life. Lakini natamka juu ya maisha yako. Number one strength. Number moja kutiwa nguvu. It is difficult. Ni ngumu to walk with God. Kutembea na Mungu. Either way. Kwa namna yote. Whether in the corporate ama katika biashara or in the other side. Ama upande mwingine. But it's worthy. Lakini inastahili. It's worthy. In a style. It is worth it, it is worthy. In a style. Serving God is worthy. Whether with your finances or any other way. It is worthy. In a style. I repeat it is worthy. Narudia in a style. 
it is worthy inastahili to serve the lord kumtumikia bwana it's just that sometimes we will desire something else ni vile tu wakati mwingine tutatamani kitu kingine but he knows kiki. better yeye anajua he knows zaidi. our hearts anajua mioyo yetu he knows where we will serve him better anajua wapi tutamtumikia kwa ubora kwa dakika moja for one minute mwambie akupe nguvu kutembea naye tell him to give you If the power to work with him kama ni kwenye biashara ministry huduma whatever it is chochote kile one minute please dakika moja Our last prayer. Bombile to all of the world. What is the magic of Mungu Nikoti? Receive the powers you pray. Pokea nguvu unavyoomba. An impartation of grace. Ambukizo la neema. Mara let there be manifestation. Kupawe na udhihirisho. Let there be financial manifestation. Kupawe na udhihirisho wa kiuchumi. Let there be spiritual manifestation. Kupawe na udhihirisho wa kiroho. Let there be manifestation. Kupawe na udhihirisho. Let there be manifestation. Kukawe na utirisho. Enter in the mara. Ingia katika mara. Prayer. Omba. Prayer. Omba. In whatever you are doing. Kwenye chochote unachokifanya. Oh whoever you are. Ama yote yule. Mara makes it easier. Mara inafanya iwe rahisi. Bringing the supernatural into reality. Kuleta ulimwengu wa majabu wa rohoni the katika wali. Fish will be attracted to you. Samaki yule atavutwa uelekeo wako. Saho kate jaba. Lipa zukate. Rakate. Baraso telema. Pray my daughter pray one minute omba binti yangu omba kwa dakika moja strengthen yourself in prayer jitie nguvu katika maombi teach me your way your way is your way your way is your way it will cost you everything itakugharimu kila kitu it will cost your joy itagharimu furaha yako your happiness furaha yako it will cost your time itakugharimu muda wako it will cost your strength itagharimu nguvu yako it will cost you everything that i promise you itakugharimu kila kitu ilo na kuahidi it will cost you everything itakugharimu kila kitu serving him will cost you everything kumtumkia kutakugharimu kila kitu and corporate or in spiritual things ama katika biashara au mambo ya roho it will cost you your life itakugharimu ya kutoka he was all over the world make sure you're praying in those who are here father empower me as a business person empower me in, in my career i want to serve you lord father empower me strengthen me i want to serve you strengthen me Libada bada empower me lord empower me abate bada empower me lord somebody begin to pray shada bada jate ne bara da baso toro go shade le bada zante pradiga para no sie venegada the way you are praying shows how much you love yourself vile ambavyo unaomba inaonyesha jinsi gani unajipenda Your prayer right now determines how much you care about yourself. Mambo yako sahihi yataonyesha ni kiasi gani unajali kusema. Haya ni maisha yako tunaongelea. Prayer. Omba. In the atmosphere of Jesus. Be was all over the world make sure that you pray. For above city. Make sure that you pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. I'm not sure.
Naomba kwa ajili ya udhihirisho. Yaani speak it. Tamka financially. Kichumi release it. Achilia. Your words have power. Maneno yako yana nguvu. Believe in your prayer. Amini katika maombi yako. Speak it. Don't get tired. Usichoke. If you get tired what about us? Ukichoka vipi kuhusu sisi? You keep on pushing. Unaendelea kusukuma. Release words. Achilia maneno. My daughter, binti yangu, my son pray. Kijana wangu, oh. release words. Achilia maneno. It's not over until Jesus says it's over. Haijakwisha bado mpaka Yesu aseme bado. Zungumza juu ya wachawi kwenye biashara yako. Speak let them be exposed in the name of Jesus. Wafunuliwe kwa jina la Yesu. They will not see your downfall no matter what. Hawataona anguko lako haijalishi. You might stumble here and there but you still stand. Unaweza kaanguka hapa na pale lakini bado utasimama. Biblia nasema mwenye haki atanguka mara saba na atainuka. The Bible says mara saba pia. The rashes one shall fall seven times, times but for you to rise up. Ni muda wako wa kuinuka. I come as the angel of the Lord. Ninakuja kama malaika wa Bwana. And I tell you that the journey ahead is long. Na ninakwambia safari ile You better rise up. Niboro kainuka. Rise up. Inuka. Woman of God, rise up. Inuka mtu Mungu. Men of valor, rise up. Inuka. Mwanaume shuka. Arise, my daughter, arise. Inuka binti yangu inuka. For you have many years. Maana una miaka mingi. Before Jesus calls you home. Kabla Yesu hajakuita urudi nyumbani. You have many years. Una miaka mingi. You cannot faint tonight. Hauwezi kuzimia usiku leo. My son you cannot faint. Hawezi kuzimia mtoto wangu. My apostle, my prophet you cannot faint. Nabii wangu mtume wangu huwezi kuzimia. Kaka kaka kaka. Asotete, ibalesha toko. Arush belakato. Ita azekete. Ina mandele kida bahasuve. Baraso. Arise. Manifestations. Mara enter in the mara. Spirit man come hither. Spirit man come hither. Lesh belesha. Uchukua panga wako. Uchukua panga wako katika jina la Yesu. Take your sword and fight your battles. La shataka popo. Ada da da da. Basoko. It is happening. Holy fire. It is happening. It is happening. Holy fire. Look at that. Look at that. It is happening. Would you pray? Holy fire. 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 Holy fire.
Walk in prosperity. Tembea katika mafanikio. Tembea katika nuru. Walk in light. One minute of prayer. Like a manifestation of the light. Udirisha wa nuru. You are the light of the world. Wewe ni nuru ya ulimwengu. You are the light of the world. Wewe ni nuru ya ulimwengu. Bring it out. Itoa nje. Bring it out. Itoa nje. Let nations see the light. Acha mataifa ya Ra. Ra. Plasoto Balesha Kila giza alikaonekane Leketeke ne morana mafoto Kila giza lililo jificha alikaonekane Every darkness that is hiding in the middle Mara Mara I expose your witches Nina wafunua wachai wako I expose your witches Nina wafunua wachai wako Expose your witches. Nina wafunua wache wako. Shante parano sapra nasapra. Hey, focus and pray. Your father. Your father is leaving you tonight. Sabako na kwa chia usiku wale. Your biological father is leaving you. Fire! Moto! You are leaving this boy. Unamwachio kijana. You are leaving this boy. You are leaving this boy. You are leaving this You are leaving this young man. You are coming out. I break all covenants. He has rejected that religion. He has rejected that religion. You are leaving him. Give me oil. I break every covenant. You are leaving Your father entered against you. Baba yako aliengea dhidi yako. When a biological father is bewitching his children that's a problem. Kama baba yako mzazi anamchawia mtoto wake ni shida. Nashuka huko baharini. I go down to the ocean. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Father, baba, let fire rain. Moto ukanyeshe. Na majini yote. Every jini. Jini yote. Every jini. Leave this boy. ukijana. This one is my son. Huyu ni mtoto wangu. This is my son. This one is my son. Good mic. This one is my son. Well, you what you will kijana ku prophet mwingine. Anamwambia vitu kwa nini unapendana. You are bright on. You what? Mwache. Mwache. Anaingilia vita. Wewe wewe. Ah, toa malaika yako. Eh? Toa malaika yako. Kwa nini unamlinda kwa ajali? Kwa nini unamlinda kwa ajali? Why did you protect him from an accident? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Nisikilize. Yeah, me. Kuna muunganiko gani kati yenu na baba yake? What connection baba do you have between you and his Baba yake tunamtumia. Mimi ni yule yule unanijua. Mkubwa wa mashe unasema albadili na mimi nimemsomea. Ila anajidai kila Bring kitu nishupatia. Bring this boy to me. Bring this boy to me. Bring this boy. Mlete. Bring this one. Sit down. Kachi. Tanzania shall know what is going. Hey! Ra! Kai! Toka, 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 toka. Liva, liva, liva. Toka, toka. Mwachio, 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 mw
sio mchawi hataki uchawi she does not want to hataki uchawi hataki uchawi msimlazimishe don't for sir tanga jesus free free who Hey, put a mic name skill and I'll change. What are you saying you? Unaongea nini wewe? You're wasting my time by the way. Unapoteza muda wangu. Mamalize Brighton. You want to kill my son? Pamoja na Priska. Eh, why is why are you people? Brighton, why is Priska she here? Why kwa nini unataka kumuua Brighton na Priska? Ndio najidai ona muungani iko naye. Brighton anampenda sana ukijana. Alafu wewe unajidai kumlinda. Unamwambia abaki da kwa sababu maisha yake unataka uyafungue aondoke nje nje. Na nimesema Canada hawezi. Macho nimeyachukua. Kwa nini Brighton anasema macho yake mimi anaona na yatumia? Kwa nini? Kwa nini babake juzi nimetoka kuonana naye? Nimempeleka kijana. Babake anampenda ila tunamtumia ni utaki. Mimi ni babake shangazi pamoja na shangazi yake na umiza familia yote. Babake mchawi mdogo tu. Yeye anapenda watoto wake ila anashindwa kutoka kwenye magani. Kwa nini aende kumsalimia babake? anaachilia malaika ili iweje ili iweje anapigana na mizimu yote ye nani ye nani mimi ni Mungu mkubwa wa baharini wa watu umeniona kwa nini kwa nini kwa nini na ziba na ziba kibali chake watu wasimuone ila watu bado wanampenda wanamleta wetu wewe kwa nini unampenda kwanza si uniachie niachie nisikilize dakika moja usio na fujo basi hear me mbona mimi nimekaa kimya Nama tusikilizane. Wewe ni nani? Who are you? Mimi ni babake shangazi. Wewe si ndio ulimfungua kipindi kile? Subiri. Wewe ni babake na shangazi. Naitwa Masunda Muhammad Ali Zain. Shehe, nimesoma albadili. Ye ana pale unashangilia unasema albadili zimesomwa. Anasema yeye kama babake atayashinda yote. Kama nani? Kama nani? So wewe kwa hiyo wewe ni baba mkubwa tukuite. Hapana mume wake shangazi. Mume wake na shangazi yake. Ndio. You are the husband to his aunt. Oh, so shangazi yake wewe umemuoa. So you Dio, nimemuona nimemfungia kuzimu. Nimempaka paka malimbo ataelewi chochote. Shangazi yake. Dio, uko wapi? Wote upo chini. Yeye ndo anataka kuinuka. Subiri basi. Usiwe na haraka, usiwe na hasira. Wewe hii sio familia yako. Wewe umeoa kwenye hii familia. Dio, dio. Nisikilize basi. You just married to this family. Umeoa tu kwenye hii familia. Sasa kaka shida ni nini mbona no. unataka kuitawala familia sio ya kwako shida ni kwamba wewe unamsimamia huyu mtoto huyu sio asa wewe huyu anakutesa nini kwanza kwa nini umpe jina lile jipya nisikilize kwanza hebu nielewe ninachokuuliza swali usiwe na haraka mimi nauliza hii sio familia yako this is not your family wewe umeoa you just know this is not your children lakini baba yao ana maagano kwenye familia But zao father has covenant mnapitia kwenye hao maagano kuitesa familia lakini through. wewe unaonekana una hasira sana But you e, are kwa nini una hasira kati hii sio familia yako why are you angry why this is not your family kwa wote niangalia nilishamzuia nikasema wewe abaki kuislamu kwa nini wewe umeinua yeye anainuka kuwa nabii narudi kwenye hii point ina kuhusu nini mimi nataka kuwa na shangazi yake kwa sababu shangazi yake yupo yule sasa kama Anakia. shangazi yake uko naye huyu mimi siko na shangazi hebu nielewe ninachouliza mimi swali langu ni kwamba huyu ana sio mtoto wa huyo shangazi this is not a son to that huyu ni, ni shangazi tu wewe kwa nini usihangaike na mke wako why don't you deal with your wife maombi yenu yanafanya shangazi yake anataka kushtuka anasema mimi mchawi kwa nini kwa sababu anataka kumsaidia mtoto ampeleke Canada. Wewe unajua kwamba anatakiwa kwa wapi? Sasa ambaye niulize swali la mwisho. Let me ask the last question. So, mimi huku tunaomba we are praying. Kule shangazi anafunguliwa akili. And the auntie Dio. is been delivered her mind. Lakini shangazi hajawahi kufika hapa. But the auntie never. Hajawahi ila huyu ndo anaenda kwa nini juzi aende kwaza. Oh, alikuja kwako. Alienda kwa baba yake. Kwa baba yake. Baba yake kafika akaanza kumachuza na mlenga. Kaenda kwa bibi yake wakamkumbatia. Ila anaingia kwenye nyumba ana mawatu wapo juu yake. Hebu nieleze ulichokiona. Yaani alivyoingia aliingiaje kwenye nyumba. Uelewe unajifanya ujui kwamba umempa malaika yako. Eh? Yaani yani subiri subiri basi usio 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 tusijibizane basi. Nanguza ndo maana. Basi nisikilize. Sheo unaitwa umesema unaitwa nani? Muhammad Ali Zain. Mimi natokea Zanzibar. Muhammad Ali Zain. Ndio. Sasa hivi hapa wewe makazi yako ni Zanzibar. Makazi yangu ni upanga ila majini yangu yote yapo Zanzibar baharini. 
Masheo tu ananiacha kisa wewe wanakuongelea huyu kijana anasumbua Tanzania anasumbua Kenya weni nani we I'm sure you don't know me. There is no glory. Hakuna utukufu hapa. Nafikia tu kiniambia Lucifer na nikimbia mimi na nisaidia nini mtoto wangu. Those are levels to record na zifurahia gazaman these days there is no glory. Sheo mwana ameongea point moja. Alikuta mweke mic. Mimi nataka umwache tu kijana wangu kwa. Sasa nikimwachia siku zile anakula agano ameongea paka kwa Mungu yeye anajiaminisha kwa Mungu ana maneno huyo kijana wako eh, ana maneno makubwa sana ah, yani akiwa anaomba hajawahi yani anaongea vitu vikubwa kuliko watoto wako eh, eti anasema eh. kama mimi nisipoweza kufikisha hatima yangu labda hivi mimi ni mwachie baba yangu ila mimi ni nabii na lazima nimsaidie baba yangu na baba yangu ndo alionitoa katika shida siwezi kumwacha kuliko nikapoteza maisha au nipoteze chochote bora mimi nife kuliko nikambetray baba yangu wewe baba wewe baba muangalie sasa wewe 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 hupendi nini wakati unaona mimi ninapompambania wewe moyo wako na moyo wake kitu hiki unatoa alafu wewe unabii wake wewe umejidia kuufupisha ili asielewe eti wewe ndo yeye yeye ye, ndo wewe Ebu toa 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 vitu vyako. Wewe toa malaika zako, mimi ni muwe. Na okay. umwaka eti umemwombea mama yake, umeondoa magonjwa yote. Nisikilize is fine. Number no, ni sawa. Uh, Muhammad Zai, Zaid. Naitwa Muhammad Ali Zain. Mbona jina langu nakosea? Ndio mimi mkubwa sana na Zanzibar nzima Okay. Nisikilize she. Mimi naomba ni kule. Alipokuja kwenye nyumba yako au kwa kwa, kwa baba yake alivyoenda nini alikujaje hebu nieleze kilichoonekana mama yake anajidai na maono maono yapi eti nenda kwa babako yule babako biblia inasema hata kama ni mlevi wewe mpende Ndiyo. kumbe ndo njia mnataka kutumia mkomboe babake na shangazi yake sasa babake kila siku anapiga piga simu eti vipi mwanangu unaendeleaje nimekumisi akati nishachukua ufahamu wake nyota yake natumia sasa hivi ana roli moja alikuwa na maroli kuu babake yote nimeazuia na mtoto wangu mmoja nimempeleka Canada ila maombi yake huyu aita anatuma malaika kule wanataka kumgundua mtoto wangu arudishwe kama yeye ni foreigner kaingia katika chama cha mashoga ili apate visa kuishi kule Canada kwa nini anaomba hayo maombi nachukua nafasi yake anarudisha afu mwambie Brighton na kurudia tena nisikilize nisikilize Muhammad Sheikh Muhammad na alivyokuja alikuja umesema alikuja na malaika ndio huko mjini kwanza anasumbua mtoto wako kule upanga upanga kariako anazunguka yani anajidai yeye ndo ana wigo kubwa la watu watu wanaangusha biashara zao kazi wafanyi kazi wanamwangalia yeye kwa nini wewe unaona watu mara yani ni akiwa anapita huko kariako ndio mchana mchana na mkataza yeye mwenyewe ataki anasema kiwango anachotembea nacho mimi ni cha babangu sasa anaharibu biashara za watu kwa hiyo mtoto wangu tu akiwa anapita kariako kuna vitu vinaharibika ndio na ule malaika ule mtumia wewe kumfungulia siku eh. nani yule eh. yule kuna siku ule mfungua hapa siku akamvuta uti wa mgongo eh. tunaona umeharibu msikiti juu kuna dada mweupe mweupe umempa mafuta tunaona okay so kumbe kumbe mambo yanaendelea hapa mna mna mna, mna angalia, angalia ndio wewe achana na mambo ya kanisa endelee kufanya biashara sasa wewe unataka kungangania unangangania alafu una mwinoo wa Brighton Brighton anajidai kumkumbatia brother brother kila anatuma ugomvi katika kanisa lako lote yeye tena anajidai kuombea oh watoto wa babangu naomba washikane wainuke babangu ana maono she kuna kauli umesema umesema ni niachane na mambo ni wetu yaani ukiachana na hayo mambo fanye biashara tu uzi nisikilize sasa tukupe deal sasa niambie nakuwa na haraka ukiachana na haya mambo ndio sisi tupo tayari kukupa hela tunakupa hela ili mradi uachane na haya mambo na hawa watoto wako waache she serious mimi nakupa hela mimi kama ni mimi mkubwa chini ya bahari she unazo mimi na nakwambia aje hela nyingi nakwambia aje kwanza ujue wewe <laughs> nakuangalia sana sana wewe babako yule babako yule mm. anajidai huyu mtoto anashika simu anaika anapanga picha sijui wewe 
babako yule wa Zimbabwe yule eh, na yule mwingine sasa hivi naye karudi Zimbabwe wote tunawaona tunawaona ah, Wesu ulienda kwa Benjo umeona amerudi Wesu ulienda kwa Mnamjua ni Yuba Denjo Karudi She uko deep She She anazumu Nikutajie Basi basi usi nitajie Ni sawa Mimi nataka nielewe Kwa She ina Ok basi sawa nime kuelewa So Wao nataka aje Tumalize tui nijadalo She mrefu Kwa sababu Sasa hivi Uyo kijana wako Anatembelea kwenye neema kubwa na wewe unaijua na ndio maana unamwacha sawa eh ila sasa ili tumalize mzizi wa fitna mimi mm. niachie huyu na kuachie ufanye huduma au nikupe hela ni kuachie huyu ah kuniachia huyu mm. na ukiacha huduma mm. mimi mambo yetu yanaendelea sio unajua huyu mwezi mtukufu unajua hiyo naelewa sasa mambo yetu nataka kuyaribu mpaka leo kwa nini sasa la mwisho basi nimekuelewa hiyo nimekuelewa ngoja nalitafakari na hapa nalifikiria wewe hela si unataka mm nyingi sana she sasa kwa nini tunakuwa tunashikana wala mimi sio mnafiki she kwa nini tunakuwa tunashikana kwa nini unamwachia malaika wako ye yeah, anaomba vitu pavu hata sio size yake anavyoombea watu wanafunguliwa she Ante. umeniambia akipita kare yako mambo yanaharibika sasa wewe hujui hujui haona jifanya ni kwa DC vingine basi 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 nakuelewa sasa em tuongee dakika moja la mwisho kabisa wewe hapo mimi sawa na, na, nafikiria kuacha huduma kuwatelekeza hapo ndo tutakuwa tumesaini yeah, mkataba nipo katika kufikiria kwao nipe wakati nafikiria naomba nikuulize na hili swala la kufikiria hilo bwana subiri kwa she, kuna roho za watu she ah. wewe mwenyewe unangangania familia ndogo lakini unaipambania una unaona unapopambana ah. sasa ah, wote mimi na waachaje kimasiara hujaniambia hata shingapi sasa hayo mambo au tutakutana baadaye takutana ila sasa unataka unimalize papa ukini anasema eti kaka pale nikitoka kwenye ibada eh. kama huyu mtu ajafa mm. babangu sio nabii na mi bora nife alisema leo ndio ah kumbe ndo maana nimekukamata nime shewe namletea mletea wanawake wote kawashinda uh -huh. ana wakiislamu wanawakimbia vipi hawataki hawataki hataki hata kidogo hataki hataki kunaswa hawa wa kristo kimletea anajideti anazumu Asubuhi akiamka macho yake yanauma anajidai kumpiga huo Brighton Brighton anaambia endelea tukuombea macho hivi kwa nini unaweka system kwanza mm -hmm. kwa nini okay ni sawa ni sawa no, no, she mniambie albadil umesema mlisoma mtu malizia nisoma nimeisoma juu ya huyu kijana au juu ya Brighton juu ya huyo kijana nitaka kumfungua siyo sawa nimesoma albadil na babake alikuepo ila babake Oh najua anafanya uchawi mdogo wa waganga mimi waganga ni sikuu. Kwa hiyo nikasema kama vipi mashewa anasoma ni muue eti huyu mtoto haogopi. Kabla hata jompokea huyo Yesu anakuja kwako kidogo kidogo cha anasema someni hata albadili muwe 500. Hata juuzumu Hii ni mwanzo kabisa huko. Alikuwa tayari anaanza kupata kiburi. Ushamfungua siku hiyo ambayo umemfungua. E, e. Alishatoka kwenye albadili. Wewe umemwombea kwenye simu ulikuwa Zimbabwe na yule mwenza yule nani yule e, e. Apostle Kevin Eh. Mimi nawajua nyinyi kindaki ndaki. Okay sawa. Tunamalizia na hili she. Uh, kwa hiyo huyu kijana albadili imeshindikana. Imesomwa. Ila... Tu... Sasa wewe unachokigundua ni kwamba alishakukuuliza swali. Mm. Kudil na haya majini una deal vipi? Mm. Na yeye anajidai kilala usiku. Anawafukuza majini. Anataja malaika wake. Maana anaita malaika wako. Anatoa. Kwani wewe una shida malaika wewe wana wanakufanya nini shehe sasa wewe malaika si unajua nguvu zao ndio mimi natumia majini mtu mkimtaka mwanamke yoyote narusha jini la maaba ndio mwingia sasa kijana anajua hadi jinsi ya kutoka kwenye jina la maaba ila bado namuandama bado eti brighton anakaa usiku anao kwa nini ni ndugu yake lakini nisikilize hiyo mimi nataka niulize swali la mwisho kwamba huyu kijana unamtesa yeye peke yake au ni kila mtu unamwandama kama yuko kwenye familia sio kwa sababu sasa yesi si unajua kwamba huyu ni nabii muonaji sijui sasa yeye akiwa anaona tu si anaelekeza kwa nini wewe wewe familia yako kwa nini haigusi si unaelekeza tu kilala simu moja unapiga mama eh hey, usiende sem fulani leo si ndio hivyo unavyofanya ndio mambo yetu yanavyofanyika ndio sawa ila wewe sasa unaona na wewe unataka naye aone unamwambia ti huduma achana naye fanya mambo ya biashara ndo mambo yako kwanza huduma muda wote mtoto wangu unaweza kufanya namwepusha na, na vita zenu sasa bora tummalize huku kwa sababu amebakisha muda mchache na wewe unajua unatakiwa kutoka hapo uanze
kwenda kule kwake hatakuwa hapa nchini na ye anasema yupo tayari kufa kwa ajili yako kisa ufie binadamu eti baba uwe vipi wewe basa wewe ni shehe mkubwa Zanzibar naitwa Mohamed Alizeni ukitaja shehe dogo wapi Zanzibar Zanzibar mimi mpemba mpemba nimechangia kweli na majini haso shehe wewe ni mchawi wewe ni wewe ni nani mimi wewe unamjua shehe haya eh na unamjua sasa huyu tulitaka kumvuta kule kule wewe ndo unajiri eti kumuona kumvuta nabii mtoto wangu wewe utakuwa kama mimi okay nimekwela kwa kile chama cha mashehe wa Tanzania kile wao humo mule mimi wale wadogo sana mimi napiga za chini chini mimi cha shida yangu nyota tu wewe unajua mimi kwa nini nianze kujionyesha kwenye ma TV si ndio ataanza kunipiga vitu wewe <laughs> kali mzanzibari wewe vipodozi uongelee basi hadi vi, eh vipodozi si umewaambia hao eh sasa kwa nini mimi sijui kila kitu kinachoendelea aya basi sasa sasa shehe ole <laughs> wako mfu Eh? Yaani ni mawili tumefikia tamati. Kwa sababu ushamwambia 2024 ndio mwaka wake ndio kila kitu anachotaka. Ataenda paka hiyo nchi anotaka. Shee. Wewe dakika moja basi nisikilize nataka nikuulize ile swali. Uh, Ramadhani haitakiwi kufanya shirk. Sasa mimi najifunika na sigda na kanzu. Ah, okay ila tu ila mambo chini. yetu bado yanaendelea chini chini. Ah sasa si ndio muhimu bila hivyo nitaishi. Ah basi ni makala ya Aya. Jamani, umeona mambo haya? Okay. Basi, basi tukubaliane kwanza. Shee, subiri niombe kwanza. Ndio unaanza kuleta watu wanashuka. Anatembea na huyu nani unamuita wewe? Ambao ana shetani anamuogopa. Yeye yeah, anatembea. Hivi wewe, mimi kwanza naomba niwaambie watu wako. Ndio. Kwa nini unatembea na hivyo viumbe? Hilo tu ndo swala langu. Mimi wachungaji wote nawajua. Hawana chochote. Wapokea moto hawana moto hawana nini wana act comedy tu. Ndio nakwambia sasa Ila wewe tangu ujue kwamba umeitiwa nini basi kila sehemu yani ukitaka chochote malaika malaika. Haupendi. Ndio. Alafu ni umeona alichomchezea sasa. Mm. Alikuwa anatakiwa aje sauti. Nikampiga pa 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 nkala ila zake zote cha 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 cha. Afu kuna rafiki yake mmoja hata anatoka huko anasema oh tukienda sisi tumeenda wewe wanamletea mabegi wanamkumbatia mi nimemzuia kwa sababu alitakiwa onane na huyo wewe unamuita baba huyu anajidai kumuita baba nimezuia vyote ila bado eti na connect rooni mnajidai rooni wewe unajua sana kuliko mimi Sasa sasa hivi nini kinaendelea mbona wanaongea hivyo unajisikiaje umekamata kila kitu changu moto mkubwa majini yako majini yako yamefanyaje majini yote yamekimbia kwanza alishaniambia huyu mtu au mwezi majini alikwambia ya ameniambia mashe wenzangu wote wameniacha hebu nieleze hiyo mashe walikuwa chaji wakati mashe wanatakiwa wao wana mnaambatana pamoja wamesema wamesema huyo sio nabii tu wa kuwekoa mkono ni kama wewe babake kazaliwa nabii kwa hiyo babake anachofanya anamtengeneza Alafu alichukosea kula maagano na Mungu huyo kijana wako. Anakutaja mbele eti maombi anacha maombi yote. Eti Mungu babaangu kama unavyomjua siku nkipinduka bora anife kuliko nikamkosea babaangu. Unajua hayo maombi yalikuwa hatari alafu leo tunajidai kuongelea. Kwa nini unawafundisha tekniki? Shee nisikilize mashehe walikuonya wamenionya wakakwambia bwana huyu mkijana unayesumbuka naye atakusumbua. Amesema ni mawili. Mhm. Mm akikosea tunaweza kumua Ndiyo. ila kukosea iwezekani sio rahisi kwa sababu ana malaika ndio eh hey. ila kumua tunataka kumua so she, wewe kwa nini huku ukuwasikiliza wenzako sasa mimi sinaibika tangu mwaka jana na shida na wiki jana hii miaka mitatu umemfungua 2019 sio 20 hey. mpaka leo bado unakimbizana naye nakimbizana naye na, na, na eti hataki kukata tamaa namwambia achana na babako eh hey, tafuta babako mwingine anasema kila alichokuwa babangu anacho ndo mimi ninacho bila yeye mimi sijafika aniache mimi ndio ange okay unge ungefanikiwa kumshauri aniache a, nisiwe babake anikasirikie aondoke zake kama wengine eh. ungemfanyaje sasa kuna nini tena au wengine wote wanatembea na viji malaika tu vidude vidogo vidogo huyu afikie yake kuacha yeye mwambie msuse uone hapo nitachomfanya <laughs> mwache sasa afu oh, uone Jesus. Aifiki huu mwezi upinduki na maliza shughuli yako. Okay basa. Kwa hiyo ulionywa na majini yako yakakwambiaje? Majini yenyewe yanasema tunaenda tunakatwa kichwa. Kuna malaika yake anatembea kila sana panga. 
macho sasa ndo tumeangangania Brighton ya choki okay. macho yake macho okay. macho okay. Okay. macho yake okay. okay la mwisho ile hapa she kwa hiyo wanasemaje kuhusu mahali hapa tatizo ni moja mahali hapa watu wanajua tu ni maneno unajua wanakuona wewe hivyo leo ngoja niwaambie wanakuona hivyo unavaa siyo nini wanakuona kama vile mnyamwezi mtoto mdogo we <laughs> we ni balaa yani unakuaga na vitu fulani hivi ukiamua lako umeamua sasa mimi ni kila kiajaribu nikamwambia mwangalie baba yeye mwenyewe ajideti anatupia watoto wako wakikuona baba anatupia huyo najaribu kuwadanganya baba atupia hivyo hivyo ili niwamalize wakimbilie duniani wanarudi huko kwa nini okay it's fine she ni sawa father i pray mara mara when the supernatural becomes physical ulimwengu wa rohoni unapokuwa katika uhalisia we are entering the month of victory tunaingia mwezi wa ushindi april mwezi wa 4 haleluya haleluya inua mikono yako juu sema ushindi ni lazima ushindi ni lazima kariga jina la yesu in the name of jesus now angalia enes tutakuja kueleza let me first deliver him basi 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 Ma, eh, she, jini lako majini yako jini kubwa kuliko yote ni lipi unarejua bwana na makata na subiani kampiga makata sasa subiani sharifu kaua umembadilisha jina hivi unajua maana ka... sharifu ka, kafa kafa ana uwezo ana nguvu subiani kafanyaye kakimbia 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 makata ndo anangangania anangangania m2 subiani anakuja m2 ongea na makata tuongee na makata muite makata njo come here come here njo bwana uwezo kujificha kama mtoto you know Wewe si ndo jini mkuu. Hebu ongea na mimi makata. Hivi unajua ningekuchorea lakini I won't do it. Siku moja nitakuchorea hivi viumbe. Ni vitu vya ajabu ajabu tu. Kata kitu kina wewe. Makata makata. Kwa nini unataka usumbue? Nimetoka mbali ati. Ana vindevu hivi. I swear I wish ningechora. Kwa nini? Eh makata. Eh, unataka okay, nini asa? Fine, it's fine. Nani? Una unamtakia nini huyo kijana wangu? Wewe si unajua nyota na bii hivyo. Naelewa. Mnaitaka no, nyota. Nimwambia, suli mwambia hiyo. Kwamba shetani anakutaka na Mungu anakutaka. Sasa kachagua upande wako. Okay. Naomba niulize kama jini la huyu mzee, yani huyu mzee mna anakutumaga umfanyie nini huyo kijana? Yaani uchukue nini mashani wake? Mimi nacheza na akili tu. Akili zake na, na nafsi basi yake ndo mnaita soul sijui eh. naivuta naivuta namletea ana wanawake wana wanatafuta wana basi basi makato siendelee sana wa kiarabu haya basi basi wa kiarabu ndio basi 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 makato basi sasa ndugu zako wameenda wapi ndugu zangu wamekimbia kwanza washaniambia hii vita hii eh. utakuja kuuawa na huyo nabii wake walikuonya ndio sasa yeye kinachomfungamanisha kwako ni hilo agano na wewe kwa nini unangangania makata sasa mimi kipata hiyo nyota mimi sinakuwa tajiri tena sasa makata na huyu mzee naye anaitaka nyota wewe unataka nyota na gengi mimi nakuwa nampa tu portion ya vitu wewe ndo unampa kwa sababu wewe ni una nguvu kuliko yeye sasa kwa she huyu anawahitaji nyie sana ndio kwa sababu sasa hivi alitakiwa atoke njia nchi ende zake Canada huyo kijana huyo kijana ah okay kwa hiyo kajidai kuomba nikajaribu kuforce asiondoke. Okay basa. Sasa akienda kule atafunga huduma. Kwa hiyo makata wewe ndo kizuizi kizuizi fulani hivi. Ndio kwa sababu okay. mimi ukishamaliza hii shughuli na kuaje. Na umesema wewe ndo umeshikilia akili eh? Ndio. Kwa hiyo nikigusa hivi akili zake unajisikiaje makata? Moto. Eh? Hem tufanye tena. Kwa nini unazirudisha akili zake? Wewe utaki. <coughs> nazirudisha mimi sitaki akuheshimu na vuncha ah wewe unawafanyaga watu wanawafanya wasimheshimu mtu wa Mungu ndio alafu eti eti anajidai siku nikibadilika nikijidai timu mkuu kuliko baba yangu so ulimwambia hata Brighton sisi tunaona ukamwambia eti remember i am your father sasa hiyo huyu mwenzako kazi yake ana record kwenye akili akikosea tu anasema ah yule baba yangu hata nikosee vipi lazima narudi nyumbani kwa baba yangu nitalia kwenye miguu yake 
Friday is a very bad thing. The day, the day Baba. David Richard thinks is greater than Branson, he has fallen. I thought I could be a very good example in my relationship with my father. But the brains of Tanzanian son it is difficult to explain. It. So learn. You see, when when you see men of God, your fathers have fathers. It is something that you just see, you don't need a lot of teaching. Weka mic, anasema juzi. Juzi alitaka kuingia live Instagram. Ndio. Huyu mnamuita sijui Juliana, sijui nani. Eti ameandika eti life keys. Anataka kuongea about loyalty and humbleness. Sijui vice versa, pride sijui na nini. Aziongelie. Ndio hivyo hivyo anataka kuongea eti anawafungua watu kiakili. Kwamba when pride enters you, unaharibikiwa. Kwa nini? Okay, basa makacha is fine. Father. Baba. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Jesus, pride is a dangerous thing. Kiburi ni kitu kimoja kibaya sana. Baba sana afu. Biblia anasema the Bible says wanafunzi hata wao mkubwa vipi can be greater than the teacher. Alafu mwisho wa siku na vitu vingine hata ni vya kishamba. Tuasa great way great yani. Afu nini sasa? Sisi tunanielewa kwamba bado upo kwenye vitu vya kizamani zamani 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 vitu vya squeeze watu hata hawana muda wanatafuta hela si ndio wewe tutapo utapokaa mbinguni huko ndo tutajua you are great usimsumbue mtu duniani tutajua yani usiwe na haraka tutakutana mbinguni tutakuona umekaa getini au umekaa madhabahuni alafu kuna vitu vingine yani vya zamani. Yaani unajua ninachokwambia ni vitu vya kizamani. Havina, yani unapigana na watu ambao hawapigani na wewe. Una <laughs> unahangaika na mtu ambaye hana muda na wewe hata hajawahi kukwaza. Eh? Yeah? I tell you. Mind your business. Find your money. Mimi narudia tena. Unaona kauli zangu hizi? Unaona hizi? Hizi unaweza ukawa nazo hizi hizi. lakini watoto wako wanakula nini nyumbani angaikia maisha yako rafiki yangu yani unaona hizi sio ma glory ma anointing haya madude tumea tumeatafutaga tumeshapata tunatafuta vingine sasa wewe wakati wewe unaangaika naye haya watu tunatafuta mengine mimi natafuta sasa hivi unajua ni corporate mimi na kim najaribu na kumwambia Mungu embadilisha bazile inabadilisha zile kauli sasa hivi nataka corporate No matter if you have noticed squeeze Lucifer anakuja sana kwenye engo ya hela hela. Sababu ashajua even my prayer point z na squeeze naomba mzee mimi mimi ministry will kill me. Watu wenyewe washikiki. Afu have reached to a point ambapo sihitaji hata ku prove hata kidogo. Yaani sina hata muda. Tumeshaya prove mpaka tukachoka tukajua kwamba amwezi kuelewa basi. Mwanza hivi ukija ukasema prophet you are not a prophet you are very true. si kwenye macho yako mimi prophet yani wewe ni sahihi Yesu mwenyewe kuna watu wanasema sio Mungu sasa mimi nitapigana na wewe Ko na kushauri hata mwenyewe ukiamka asubuhi waza maisha yako fanya yako Amen Okay makata unamwachia mtoto wangu unamwachia unamwachia bwana tutaona mimi lenyewe nitakuwe eh? Ulitaka kuniua mimi? Ndio. Ah makata. Mimi nataka nikuue. Hey. Yaani bora tuane. Capital letters. <laughs> hey, siwezi. Eh? Yeah? Kwani hatujui? Makata, rise up and fight. Inuka win tupigane. Let's fight. Oh, I live, live, live makata. Makata wants to fight. Let's fight. Ita power, call power. Ita nguvu. Call call power ita nguvu bahari tingishike hivi call power let the ocean shake like this ita nguvu eh mimi ni watu gani nimewaambia nimewaambia ushers wakae pembeni au au watu gani eh kuna watu wapo juu yako mimi bora ni 
uwe au yote siwezi kukubali utajiri wetu wote upo kwa huyo kijana makata najua ile achilia macho yake ya kiroho achilia the mighty name of jesus kwa jina la yesu nashuka huko baharini i descend to the ocean right now sahi lamuel lamuel tushuke huko chini let us go down there Mbona mnakimbia na makanzu yenu hata mpendeze? Shaonaga watu wenye kwato wamevaa kanzu. <laughs> hey! Ra in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Out! Poka. I break every covenant. Ninavunja kila gano. Call power, call power, call power. He's now calling the Luciferian gang. Call power, call power. Ita nguvu. Call power. Another one. They are connecting. They are connect. It's a network. 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 Bring that one here. Let her. It's a network. It is a ne- Na mwingine yote aliyopo huko akamatwe katika jina la Yesu. And whoever Ra! in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. It is a network. It is a network. Ni mtandao. Angelic network. Mtandao wa kimalaika. Bahari network. Anaita anaita majini. Anaita majini. Anaita majini. Signals are being sent. Signals are being sent. Mawimbi yanachiliwa. Tunavamiwa, tunavamiwa, tunavamiwa. Ah, shot. Eh? Alium, alium. Eh? Zaila alium. Aha. Alim hali habla. Hala 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 qlida. Halo shali habra. Haya haya. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Mwache binti yangu, mwache binti. Eh. Hey. Ita tena, ita tena. Mara mwisho nakupa chance ya mwisho. Eh? Hey. Put a mic. Oman. 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 Lad. We are now going international. Salai. Tunaenda kimataifa. Salai, salai aklein. Now we are going in aklein. International demons. Aklein. Aklein, aklein. Shu fine. Mm, shu fine, shu fine. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Mm, mm. Abu Dhabi. Kwa nini unaweka geti? Kwa nini unaweka geti? Kwa? Kwa nini naweka? Geti umezuiliwa. Mmebaki peke yangu. Wale sukate. Arusha te. Mm. The Father in the heavens. Mm. Is bigger than all of you. Ni mkubwa kuliko ninyi yote. Nachukua macho. Hey! Ta 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 ta. Begin to pray. Anza kuomba. Begin to pray. Anza kuomba. Begin to pray. Anza kuomba, anza kuomba. Jiombe wewe. Pray for yourself. Not for now. him, pray for kwa ajili yake. Jiombe wewe. Jini lolote pepo lolote. Any demon, any jini. That has marked me. Ambalo limeniweka alama. Mara. Mara. Let it be exposed. Likafunuliwe. He was all over the world begin to pray. Begin to pray. Any spirit, any demon. Hey! Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Mighty name of Jesus. Keep praying. We was all about the world keep praying. Most nation shall not escape prayer. Why are we praying for my friend? Pray for your life. Hey! Hey! Hey, I said pray. Give us a moment. Fire! Mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hey! Ta 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 ta. Angels of fire. Malaika wa moto. Angels of fire. Malaika wa moto. Touch every demon around. Gusa kila pepo hapa. Kings of the waters. Wa fame wa barini. Powers from the waters. Mamlaka kutoka barini. Marine spirits. Rosa barini. The mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hey! Ta 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 ta. Angels of fire. Malaika wa moto. Begin to move. Anza kutembea. Arrest all powers. Pamaka kila mambo. Hey! In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hey! Hey! Fire! Fire! Moto. Fire! 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 Come on now. Fire! Moto. Eh, magano yote yanavunjika. All covenants are breaking. Break. 
Pujika. every covenant kila magano agano ya majini madhabahu yako ni naivunja i break your altar mighty name of jesus break Pujika. eh eh oyo mweke 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 kule nyuma kwa dakika moja just put her at the back we know we know I know I don't it's not deliverance time my case is one for tonight she she njoa pa njoa pa njoa pa njoa pa she njoa pa hey she look at my look at my look at my quickly she kwa nini umeua eh kwa nini umeua jini zangu eh kwa nini umeua jini yako kwa nini nimeua majini yangu eh you wewe unapiga eh hebu mleto quickly quick mleto eh ashas bring that one with we we Mlete mlete huko mlete 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 Jesus is name Jesus is name Jesus is name Are the journalists Ka kimia Toka Magana vunjike katika jina la Yesu. All covenant break in the name of Jesus. Jesus is name. Nation shall not escape. Tanzania shall not escape. My generation shall not escape. Shayo naomba nimalize hii kesi yangu ni moja. Please mimi nimechoka jamaa. Kesho nafunga. Nimesema wa manifest nimesema malaika tu apite pite kwa kumechukulia siri za malaika guys eh uh, uh, leave me alone please una malaika eh majini yangu uh, yamefanya hivi umeua nimebaki mimi na wewe eh tushindane sasa wewe unajua mambo ya kimungu mimi uh, najua kisha sawa she macho yake ni hawezi kuanga eh kesho mke ufungi na kuwa usiku wa leo unanifanyaje she na kuwa nakuwa 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 sasa shee kwa nini niwe usiku mimi niko hapa nakuwa wewe ni kaushe tu hapa mimi haraka mimi ni nakuwa hawezi kuua majini yangu yote nasoma leo kurani nitakuwa nitakuwa asubuhi ya huyo lakini wanasimaga ni kitabu kitakatifu eh Eh, angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana. Chukua upanga wako. Get your sword. Michael. Mikai. Now, sasa hivi. Right now. Mimi sijui atakufa physically or spiritually wewe unajua mimi ninachohitaji what i want this thing to end hiki tu ifike mwisho huyo mzee ajue this old man that this know. boy is protected kwamba ukijana amelindwa na maagano yote yaanguke and let all covenants the fall. name of jesus katika jina la yesu she hukumu yeah. yako ni mauti your judgment is death katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus Nafsi yako ninayefunga kwenye moto wa jehanamu. I bind your soul in the fire of hell. Yetu smo. Misikiti yako ikaanguke, mashe wenzako akakimbizwa na malaika. Eh? Nakataya. Mashe msema na nyua, tusiongelee hela tena. Sasa hivi ni vita vita. Mm. Usikuwa leo lazima Malaika malaika akunyonge kichwa chako kitenganishwe na kiwiliwili chako she you too small i sleep where you wake up she eh eh nation father Baba I bind him to the altar of angels of God ministry. Ninamfungamanisha na madhabahu ya angels of God ministry. Grace power power power. Receive it. 
Okay. An impartation of grace. Apokizo, la neva. Nations open for you. Go to Canada, son. Nenda Canada. Eh, I swear to God, I don't have the strength. Can we do our giving? Sina nguvu. Sio leo. Leo, I am nimefundisha. Come, you have your financial seed run to the altar. Nations shall not escape. He was you have your financial seed run to the altar. Let us pray. Let us do what we have to our giving, please. Your prophet needs to fast tomorrow. He was giving. Let's move fast, son. Let's move fast. Let's move fast. Those that are watching online, you have your seed above a hundred for your finances. Tonight is the best night where we manifest things. Viewers all over the world, those who are watching, Jesus. you can do your seat for finances right now. That is above 100,000. Thank you, Lord Jesus. An equivalence of, 50, of more than 50 USD. You can use MoneyGram, you can use RIA. If you want to do bank transfers, the details are right there. For those who are using Western Union and PayPal, before you do your uh, transaction, make sure that you contact our financial department. Jesus. The numbers are right there, plus 255 The Lord bless you as you do so. Let's do a giving. Uh, one hour can run to the altar. Let's do a giving quickly. 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 Um, say they've been telling Wakakai, please. Allow my daughter to go and sit. Yes. I help my daughter to sit. Help my daughter to sit. Help my daughter to sit. Tanzania must not escape. Uganda must not escape. Viewers all over the world, you can use MoneyGram, you can use RIA. If you have access to World Remit, you can do a direct transaction right now. Do your tithe, your offering, your seed, your first fruit. You can send it uh, to our MPSA wallet, plus 255-758-012068. Just make sure the name reads Emmanuel Victor Msaki. Those who want to use bank details, bank transfers, the details are right there. Just make sure that you get every single detail correct for those who are using western union and paypal please contact the department uh, of finances the on, on on our whatsapp number the numbers are plus two five five seven one three one six zero five one zero the lord run. bless you as you do so run run run, 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 run. Join. viewers all over the world tonight is the best night you do your giving tonight you don't miss do your, doing your giving tonight you do the best you can whether you're in ministry you're in business you are you're a worker whatever you are we were to leave you make sure you you connect it's important to connect to the altar of god ni muhimu kujambatanisha na madhaba wanaume let's follow wanaume let's follow men of valor let's follow men move fast men move fast wanaume tunatembea haraka hakikisha unamtolea bwana usiku wa leo make sure it is important 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 Burn among us, burn among us, holy fire. Tithers, tithers, you have your tithe run to the altar, please quickly. Tithers run to the altar. You have your tithe run to the altar. Let me lay hands on you. Nation shall not escape. My generation shall not escape. Tanzania shall not escape. A 10% of your salary shall come to the house of God. 
Asilimia kumi ya mapato yako yote katika jamii ya Mungu. Asilimia kumi ya faida yako yote katika jamii ya Mungu. Asilimia kumi ya mapato yako yote katika jamii ya Mungu. Watazamaji ulimwenguni kote. You can do your partnership. Unaweza ukatoa partnership yako. Oh your time. Ama fungu lako la kuku. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. I pray for ninaomba kwa ajili ya katika jina la Yesu the impartation of abukizo prosperity la mafanikio manifestation of prosperity kudhihirisho wa mafanikio financial manifestation kudhihirisho wa kiuchumi in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu do you give toa matendo yako do you give toa matendo yako zale hands on you make sure you can drop in on the altar and the Lord bless you. Unaweza kuweka madhabauni na Bwana akubariki. Let's do let's do for our offering. Let's do our offering please. Unaweza kuchukua sadaka yako kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu. Run 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 run. Tafuta neno la leo ni mara. Mara is your word minister we fasting Mara. tomorrow Yes sir all over the world you can do your giving right now watazamaji wangu ni kote unaweza kutoa matoleo yako sasa hivi make sure that you connect yourself with your giving hakisha unajenga maanisha na matoleo yako it is important for you to do your tithe also ni muhimu sana kutoa fungu lako la 10 pia and if you have your first fruit you can also do it na kama una malimbuko yako pia unaweza ukafanya hivyo remember it is god that is seeing kumbuka ni mungu au naye it is god that is seeing ni Mungu anayeona. As you are giving faithfully, unapotoa kwa uaminifu, then God is seeing. Basi Mungu anaona. And may the Lord bless you. Na Bwana akubariki. Tunaweza tukampigia Bwana Yesu makofi kwa ajili ya baada nzuri. You can do better. Hallelujah. Ngiokea jirani yako mwambie jirani jua hivi leo wewe ni kundi la kwanza au la pili haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe amen uh, kesho tutakuwa tunafunga na 